ियम assalam alaikum uh, i am uh, here again ma'am shabnam uh, today i'm just going to focus on your atp paper alternative to practical paper and uh, this is uh, for o level and igcse board so first of all i'm just going to uh, i will uh, take little time to just uh, forward my uh, uh, link to everyone and uh, starting starting from uh, atp syllabus content so first of all uh, i would just like to tell uh, there are two important things please give me one second so i have to communicate uh, to everyone the, uh, you know uh, today's link thank you i'm sorry i have i will just take little bit more time uh, just forwarding the link to you know my students so at least they should you know okay uh, i'm back again and uh, first of all i'm just uh, starting from your syllabus you know what is your syllabus code number i know that you must be knowing uh, you all must be knowing your syllabus code number but the thing is uh, uh, for uh, igcse you know that it's uh, uh, 0601 and paper 6 and for uh, o levels 5090 it's basically paper 4 now it used to be paper 6 but now it's paper 4 uh you both have uh, both streams i'm not going to shuffle again and again back to both streams because you uh, o levels and igcse are going to have the same uh, paper style and format and everything so i'm um, uh, just referring to the exam tips and all that but o levels paper is going to be paper 4 and variant is 42 in zone 4 and paper 6 is for igcse and variant is 62 for igcse payment so first of all let's see uh, you know what uh, basically we needed for this atp alternative to practical paper basically this is based on very important your practical skills which are very important and uh, i know that you were supposed to perform practicals in your lab but i know that uh, schools hardly get time out for o levels and igcse students to take them in uh, lab and conduct experiments Uh, but still theoretically uh, you have to i i know that you must have gone through your revision and how to go go about your atp paper so that's really uh, great so paper 6 basically uh, paper 6 assesses you know experimental skills uh, and investigations it is written paper but practical work so make sure that you study all the experiments you have done in the classroom and seen demonstrated the thing is i know that you haven't done these practicals uh in the laboratory on a regular basis uh, but still uh, you will take this examination under the same condition as other written papers so basically uh, uh, in zone 4 you are going to have atp but uh, paper 5 which is a practical performance uh, paper uh, actually is also you know applicable for this um you will take this examination under same conditions or a written paper it is important that you learn and practice experiment skills during your course this paper will not test specific topic content from the syllabus content it test experimental skills and investigations now very important thing is i know that i'm just going to share with you that all uh, both streams of igcse and o levels you must have done uh, and gone through all the topics so there are uh, uh, some topics in which all the investigations are included and uh, there are some topics in which we need to focus on magnification uh, questions regarding drawings 
So basically, uh, uh, investigations are very important. So there are two types of uh, questions you will get in ATP paper. One question will be based on investigations, uh, planning and evaluation, analysis and all that, or, and, uh, just like experiment. And another question is based on magnification and drawings. And you must have gone through, uh, done uh, magnification formula, how to you know, find out magnification image or actual whatsoever. So I will come back to this also be because these are all basics. I don't need to uh, focus on uh, uh, basics right now, but still I would like you to tell you know, bit about, uh, you know, a little bit about as a revision uh, content. This paper will not test specific topic as he's saying, but the thing is obviously you need to. You need to have paper six, you need to have a topic, uh, you know, a total grid because you have already taken your paper two uh, in case of um, uh, O levels and paper four in case of IGCSE. So full grip on the topics is very important step. Uh, uh, more than that, more than thirty-five uh, percent syllabus they give you unseen. So unseen uh, passage re relevant information is provided, and they can ask you relevant questions regarding ATP as well. In uh, biology, just like even in chemistry. Uh, uh, ATP type questions and uh, theory paper questions, they are almost same. You, um, you know, when last time I took session and I discussed with you how the, uh, there was a question on whole sucrose or, you know, other questions which, uh, which are just like, you know, ATP type question. So they are more or less common in, that, in this regard. Number of marks for each question or question part often gives you a clue about how many separate points you need to make your answer. This is very common stuff, you know. Record readings using suitable accuracy, for example, volume to the nearest centimeter cube, thermometer, uh, time to nearest second, record observations. Now, I'm just going to, for this, I'm just sharing with you actually basically all the, uh, you know, uh, exam tips right now. Uh, what are basically paper six tips you need to, uh, you know, go through. Uh, sharing with you. Uh, this paper needs to analyze the relationship between variables and readings. Now here, very important word they have used, uh, variables. Variables means factors. And you must heard about variable uh, factors. There are two types of variables, independent variable and dependent variable. Uh, I will go into that uh, you know, uh, context also. But independent variable, which is actually the one which is uh, it varies and it is under experimental control. I will come to the planning of an investigation and tell you how to go about in the sequence of events and steps. But variables, independent variable, it varies under experimental control, mostly taken on x-axis. Dependent variable is basically based on observation or results of the independent variable. So that's very important. And um, uh, the, even independent variable can be continuous or it can be discontinuous. Continuous means when there, are, there is range and interval like uh, temperature, pH, and all that, but um, molar concentrations. But in uh, discontinuous variation means, for example, number of stomata present in the upper dicotyledonous leaf or lower dicotyledonous leaf. And readings. Readings are obviously also important. You know, need to take readings also. Uh, uh, and uh, you have to tabulate those reading results. Questions, topics required from the paper six are. Now, let's see these. What, what are the basically main topics which taking readings from instruments and apparatus. Now, instruments and apparatus is very important. You know, for example, measuring cylinder. Uh, you must have uh, uh, done in chemistry also the basic of separating mixtures and what type of simple apparatus you use. For example, measuring cylinder, stopwatch, buried, gas range. These are uh, apparatuses which give you a precise and accurate you know, measurements also. Measuring length, very important. Yes, in biology, uh, length is very important in terms of, you know, you use a ruler for length and take care of required unit. Unit is also very important in biology uh, because in biology, you will see that you take, uh, for example, in magnification, you take simple uh, millimeters, mostly you take in unit and uh, always take a ruler in which millimeter is there. But if you don't take, a, uh, uh, you know, a millimeter, uh, you take in centimeter, then you have to convert it into millimeter. So how to convert centimeter to millimeter, very simple. You must be knowing tensor, you have to multiply. And then another very important extent that you can go into. You know, uh, uh, for this, they, they, they ask you either you have to convert it. If you need to convert millimeter into micrometer, micrometer. So if you need to convert millimeter into micrometer, you have to multiply with 1,000, 1,000. 
So you can convert millimeter into micrometer. But for this, they will ask you to convert it into micrometer. And uh, if micrometer needs to be converted back into millimeter, you have to divide by 1000. So this is common uh, for both uh, IGCSE and O levels. Uh, then calculate magnification, as I'm saying, there are two, two types of questions you will be getting, very important. Two type of questions, one question will be purely based on magnification and drawings. Uh, second question will be, another question will be based on investigation. So it depends which question will be number one, maybe investigation is number one and second is mostly uh, these days, uh, um, second question is based on magnification. So magnification attempt uh, means how many times you magnify or enlarge uh, uh, enlarge image. You know that, for example, light microscope having uh, less mi magnification as compared to electron microscope, but what is an expression of formula for this? And uh, the unit time, unit time also means magnification having no unit. You know, you have to just give a multiplication sign for magnification. Uh, just giving you for this, uh, in, instead of going again, coming back. So I'm just giving you an idea that magnification, you must be knowing that. Magnification is equal to image and it's divided by actual. Uh, uh, image is actually your own drawing, basically observation, or actual is actual of the specimen. But if you need to, uh, basically actual you need to calculate, then you must be knowing that how image divided by magnification. Uh, image divided by magnification, basically. And for, for the third one, for image, uh, for uh, for the third one, if there uh, needs to be, uh, uh, you know, you have to calculate image. So then you have to, what you need to do, you have to multiply uh, magnification with actual. So it depends what actually you need to calculate. You have to shuffle this triangular, you know, uh, what you need to uh, find out, you can put a finger on it. So you can just, you know, you must have done this triangular formula or expression. So this is what that important thing for magnification and magnification uh, and drawings are very important. Uh, if I just cover here, because since we I'm on magnification, so going through that, I will tell you drawings, what are the rules of drawings, but for drawings, there are two very important, you know, term, terms I'm using. One is the plan drawing and another one is called cellular. Cellular means when all the individual cells shown in the typical biological specimen or, or drawing, for example, TS of uh, typical uh, uh, dicotinous root, root, TS of, uh, you know, dicot, dicot uh, stem, TS of leaf whatsoever. And in case of animal tissues also, they can give you anything. It can be artery, it can be vein, it can be section from the alveolus, uh, ga gaseous exchange system. Uh, there are so much, so much they can give you. Even plants, may say they can give you leaf, they can give you uh, flower, they can give you, for example, pea flower. It's different, you know, how there are so many stomata, they can ask you a draw, a portion of it, they can give you any uh, dispersal uh, fruits, uh, you know, fruits, dispersal, apple, hair, whatever, mango, whatsoever, they can give you the, those as well. As well as biological specimen, for example, they can give you locust, uh, you know, uh, they can give you even snail, which is not in your course as mollusk uh, in your classification. They can give you, uh, uh, you know, worms, uh, which belongs to Annelida or nematode phylum, which is not in your course, but they can ask you to draw. If they give you anything which you need to draw, you have to just, you know, photo micro from photo micrograph, you have to exactly copy it down, but it depends what actually they are asking for. Are they asking for the full? They can give you a white blood cell, phagocytic white blood polymorph cell. So they can ask you to draw the whole cell, or they can just give you, ask you to draw a portion of that one quarter or half of the dicot stem, or they can ask you uh, for stem tuber, potato stem tuber, uh, that they ask you, uh, there is a plant, the whole plant is given and they just ask you only the stem tuber. Or they can give you leaf, uh, leaf and they ask you to draw that particular leaf. Uh, same is the case with the, as I said, insect, you know, they can ask you in the latest, I'm going to share the uh, specimen paper. And a lot of students, they ask me how to, you know, snail there, whatever. So when you draw a typical, uh, drawing, you need to know uh, what are basically the rules for the drawing. So you need to draw, so important thing is, you need to draw out, uh, outer line, you need to draw lightly. Don't draw dark line. If you need to erase it, it will show you as redrawing on the same line, which will not give good impact and you might lose marks and even mark also. So better to, you know, what I've noticed on uh, social media also, uh, uh, kids were uh, sharing their own drawings and all that, even sending to me, my own students and all. So basically outline should be continuous. It should be unbroken. 
there should be no fizziness and outline. Second thing is when you draw, you need to draw. There, there should be no shading in drawing. You should not use any, you know, colors. You should not use any colors. And mostly, uh, here is the word I'm using: plan. Plan drawing means can no individual cell shown. For example, you draw a plan, dicotyledonous stem, dicotyledonous leaf and even uh, you know uh, root and whatsoever but individual cells not shown in the the plan drawings you must have done like this even plan drawing of um, uh, as i said you know you can uh, draw lobster you can draw snail you can draw worm whatsoever artery vein capillary gas exchange or whatever animal tissue say you can draw or plant tissue say any any organ or any part you can draw so that is called plan drawing another thing is if it uh, if you're drawing they ask you to draw something relevant uh, from the photomicrograph is from your, uh, uh, for example, a heart or whatsoever, even a bone or whatsoever is not in your course syllabus. So they will never ask you to label it. But if it's in your course syllabus to label, so they will ask you to label it. For example, in one of the paper, they ask you to draw stomata. I mean, I'm sharing with you the samples, papers also. Uh, there was there were two guard cells and they asked to draw the two guard cells, but you were supposed to draw the um, uh, adjoining four epidermal cells as well. So you have to read the question very carefully again. What actually they're asking you to draw, underline uh, what they are asking you. Are they basically asking you to uh, label as well or they are not asking you to label it? Another very important term that uh, there is one term that we can use for the magnification is just label. Label means one word labeling. You can simple label epidermis, you know, palisade tissue, uh, mesophyll tissue, vascular xylem flowing, vascular bundle, whatsoever. So one, one word labeling or two word labeling you can. But there's another term we can use is called annotated. Annotated is not only meant for uh, you know, these biological drawings or whatever. Annotated means brief description of uh, that particular part or you are using a particular apparatus, uh, you can uh, give the brief description of that part as well. So basically, your uh, drawing should be very important. You know, you have to see if they have given you a drawing. I'm just going to share with you, okay, suppose the segment, segmented body of insect is given with the segments. So you were supposed to distinct segments, you were supposed to count the segments and draw those as well. You cannot ignore the segments which are distinct. Uh, suppose there were eight segments you were supposed to, or there were, you know, projections, um, you know, on both sides, uh, you were supposed to draw those as well. So I'm going to share the specimen one one each paper. Other than that, uh, you know, uh, right on focusing on magnification. Uh, so that's very important. Are they asking you to draw uh, apple or whatever as a, you know, dispersal fruit? And are they asking you to label it or seed? See, they ask you to draw with their parts and all that. So this is all about a uh, question on magnification and drawings. So make sure your draw drawing should be larger than the drawing given in the photomicrograph. How many times you enlarge it like minimum 87 8 millimeters, it should be larger than your drawing. And it should be, you have to see that it, how much time, uh, how much space you need to leave for the labeling as well. Draw in pencil. Uh, use HP proper pencil if, according to instructions, label it in pencil, make sure labeling should not be, uh, it should be horizontal, it should not crisscross, you know, and there should be no arrows uh, for pointing out the parts of the labeling. So whatever labeling they ask, just draw that labeling. Don't draw anything irrelevant, which basically they don't ask and don't skip any labeling. So make sure these are the points, continue, again repeating, continuous outermost line, no, uh, it should be unbroken, no fizziness. And then you have to make sure that plant drawing may, what are basically the, suppose you are drawing uh, leaf, uh, plant drawing or stem and leaf. So what is the thickness of each layer? For example, epidermis is one cell thick, so how much width you need to uh, uh, draw for, and then cortex is multi-layered, so how, many, uh, how, how much uh, width should be there? Then endodermis in root or whatever stem, ka, you know, the, uh, the vascular bundles are there. And proportion of the drawing is also very important. You cannot go out of proportion. You have to have a proportion. It should be very important. And is that uh, a drawing given in a, a vertic a horizontal way or is the drawing given in a vertical way? So try to copy the exactly whatever is given. Uh, uh, and you can just see that uh, shading should not be done, but you have to see is the, is the uh, you know, it's a uh, nucleus given or whatever the parts are properly given. So this is all about magnification, which I will be sharing uh, with the specimen uh, paper, inshallah, right now. But next is, 
next come to you know uh, next come to the uh, basically when you get uh, uh, investigation based question no very important i'm just going through the instead of you know again going through the same topics from the investigations so you must be knowing that uh, what are the topics you know if you i start from uh, classification you can get question on classification as well which is basically on magnification mostly but when you come to the uh, you know next topic cell you can even get uh, how to make a slide uh, steps can also come how to focus a microscope can also come how to make a slide means you, what type of reagent you use how to make onion slide how to make cheek cells or whatsoever so you should know and how to focus uh, microscope also so you should know the steps also light microscope eyepiece objective lenses are there then there is a stage and uh, how a slide what is slide what is cover step how to make a slide of that particular section how to cut a section uh, if it's a epidermal or leaf, uh, whatever from plants, or is it the animal tissue you are, uh, uh, you know, doing liver tissue whatsoever. So that it depends. So you have to be very careful about it. And then you get the question on uh, move, uh, movement in and out, very important. Movement in and out topic, which is diffusion and osmosis active transport. Lot of investigations can come from diffusion osmosis, obviously, because you must be knowing that you must have done, uh, especially uh, uh, osmosis diffusion, uh, agar blocks, maybe you can get question. Agar blocks, uh, you cut different agar. You have seen the latest specimen papers also. When you get uh, cut agar blocks, the size of the blocks actually gives you the relevant surface area to volume ratio. Uh, 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 you know, smaller the uh, block size, uh, larger is the surface area to volume ratio, more rapid the dye will, uh, you know, uh, diffuse into it. So that it depends, uh, uh, surface area to vo volume ratio, where you can get questions you can get how solute you know if uh, beetroot pay how solute can enter if damage into alcohol may you must or whatever osmosis pay uh, non-living system a thistal funnel you can use a, a whisking tube partially permeable or cellophane membrane and uh, you have a beaker of water so you have different type of concentrated solution outside the whisking tube and inside the whisking tube so you must have done those investigation second uh, to show osmosis in basically living uh, cells you must have done the potato tubers, how to go about it. Uh, you, uh, you take different type of tubers, you cut them into equal sizes. They should be taken from the same potatoes of same age or same plant or whatsoever. And then you put them into different concentrated solution. For example, dilute solution, concentrated solution, or same in equilibrium means hypotonic, hypertonic, isotonic, whatsoever. So what is basically the explanation for those? Uh, they, um, uh, you know, plant cell become turgid, plant cell become flaccid or become plasmalized, or there is inflow, outflow is the same, uh, water, whatever. And before you, when you immerse your animal or plant cell into different solutions, uh, there is very important term I'm using here. Before you start taking the measurements, uh, there is a term I'm using here. Uh, you need to, you know, give a little time for, um, uh, to equilibrate, e equilibrate or acclimatize. Equilibrate or acclimatize means you have to give little time uh, for that particular apparatus, suppose, uh, you know, five minutes, four minutes to get ad uh, adapted into the environment before you start taking the readings of photometer or whatsoever for transpiration rate and all. So that's also very important. So basically, uh, uh, you know, investigations for movement in and out, then you will a lot of investigations you can get, uh, get from uh, nutrition in plants, all investigation to prove uh, factors necessary, carbon dioxide, Sunlight is necessary, chlorophyll is necessary, investigations based on universal indicators uh, for gaseous exchange in plants, uh, you know, nutrition in plants. You can even get, uh, uh, you know, biological molecules, very important. All type of food tests you can get. You know, you have uh, you have carbohydrate tests, you have starch tests, uh, iodine test because you must have done uh, um, iodine uh, test for uh, to check for the presence of starch, what is positive, negative test. Then you have got reducing sugar test. What is meant by reducing sugar test? Banadic test, reagent you use, Banadic is blue in color, all that. I'm not uh, going into much detail. You must have done all the food tests properly. I know that you must have done, hopefully. So basically reducing sugar test, uh, all uh, monosaccharide dye, mostly saccharides are reducing sugar except sucrose. Sucrose is not in your course to tell you that non-reducing gives you first uh, negative test with Banadic uh, and then you add HCl, but it's in A levels. It's not in your course as non-reducing is the sucrose. But other than suppose glucose you take for reducing sugar, how how you uh, boil uh, take uh, equal uh, you know quantity of suppose two cm cube of Benedict, two cm cube of glucose, and you heat to boil for four to five minutes minimum. You know eighty degrees centigrade. And what is the boiling you are doing? You are using 
basically the beaker of water as the water bath and you in, uh, put the you know the boiling tubes into those uh, in the water bath and water bath act as a you know uh, to control even temperature as well so uh, when you heat to boil how the color changes uh, if um, from uh, blue to uh, yellow green in the middle for a little while it depends on concentration of the solution uh, more concentrated the solution is stock solution it will turn into uh, orange red color or whatever so this is reducing sugar test and why reducing sugar test we are doing because the starch is acted upon by enzyme amylase that's why it convert into reducing sugar so you can get, get you have to link all the topics you enzyme enzyme topic you have to link the biological molecule topic how it uh, how it goes about it second you must have uh, you must have done the test for protein uh, test which is called buret test buret or buret test basically uh, there are two uh, you know in igcse in most of the books they have not mentioned the two reagents we add in that there are two re reagents you must heard about the those reagents that we add into for protein test one is called sodium hydroxide you you must have heard about sodium hydroxide which is colorless solution and the other one is copper sulfate copper sulfate is blue in color these two make the uh, you know buret uh, or biuret whatever you you know uh, depends pronunciation uh, basically both uh, gives you a buret solution right so uh, buret test is basically the one which gives you purple uh, violet color if protein is present and the third one is fat emulsion test fat emulsion gives you greasy spot test also but ethanol ethanol one so these are all the tests which i don't need to but i still repeat it uh, i know that these are very basic tests and then there was a topic as i said nutrition nutrition in plants then come to very important uh, you know even uh, uh, transport in plants lot of investigations on transport in plants transport in plants investigations are also very important you know you must have done uh, you know investigation on bell jar can come uh, how the dicot leaf may lower contain more stomata how you can test with cobalt chloride paper if you remember if it's dry it's blue in color but it can change into it can change into basically uh, pink if more it, uh, get it uh, if it uh, if it's come in contact with moisture and that, uh, how you cover the leaf dicot leaf with the vaseline or vaseline uh, you know uh, upper side lower side or both sides or you know it depends so you must have done those investigation even the bell jar investigation to prove res transpiration even there is a potometer apparatus how you introduce the bubble and how bubble moves toward a uh, left side towards the shoot and when there is a loss of water vapor so how this all happens so uh, this is all very important as well and uh, then you can uh, so uh, next is uh, suitable uh, um, uh, regarding all these investigations uh, you can get investigation for uh, you know gas respiration also uh, physical you know how to you know physical activity uh, respiration even transport in mammals you can get heartbeat ka how to you know investigation based on those are uh, you can get lot of investigation on those so uh, every every topic most uh, hardly i'm just saying that most of the topics they even uh, pen, uh, penicillin production also penicillin production may fermenter ka bhi you can get graph re relevant question uh, graph relevant question also you can get investigation based on so genetic engineering engineering pe you can get question in atp type so investigation based question can come mostly from most of the topic uh, reproduction in plants very important reproduction in plants is very important uh, why it, it is important that you can get uh, asexual vegetative propagation methods to draw for drawings for uh, uh, drawings as well for seed as well and you can get uh, you know uh, then come germination germination in plants also very important seed uh, what are the condition necessary for germination when you need to prove any condition how you are going to set up your apparatus how you plan an investigation and for food test other than food test i mentioned uh, students were asking about vitamin c uh, dcpip vitamin c1 uh, you have to you know how to plan investigation even enzyme pectinase how for fruit juices for apple apple cause and i'm just going to share with you so those as well uh, you know any investigation can come you uh, they can ask you to plan an investigation for 6 to 7 marks so mostly for 6 marks how you how to go about to planning an investigation what are the headings you need to keep in mind when you need to plan an investigation of 6 marks suppose you need to prove that uh, you know that uh, 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 with increase in temperature in yeast, the rate of respiration increases in yeast. Or they can ask you 
uh, uh, you know, uh, um, optimum temperature or pH is needed for a particular enzyme, amylase or catalase, so on. So, uh, or they can ask you to plan an investigation that how vitamin uh, DCP, IP, it works against vitamin C presence in different type of fruits. Uh, fruits, so it, they can be fruits, citric fruits, or what, whatsoever. So they can give you any investigation which you need to plan. So you have to see that how to start about this investigation. Uh, it starts from, uh, you know, uh, hypothesis, which is scientific st uh, statement. So let me first, you know, uh, starting uh, before I go into these graphs and stuff, I would like you to just, you know, uh, because uh, planning an investigation is very important. This is what that uh, uh, in front of you I'm sharing. When you plan an investigation, experiment investigation, how uh, outlining your plan of investigation, that's very important. Uh, for example, for example, you can see outlining the plan. Outlining the plan should be organized into different subsections with these headings. So headings, you are not going to put the headings while planning an investigation, uh, but you have to have mind may, what are the headings? Now headings, number one, hypothesis. Hypothesis is a scientific prediction or statement. It can be true, it can be false, it depends, you have to prove it, you know. Uh, hypothesis, then there, there are going to be variables or underneath variables, I'm going to repeat, which I've already mentioned. Variables are the factors. Variable, uh, independent variable, dependent variable, then controlled variables, which I'm going to discuss in the second paragraph. So you have to uh, uh, talk about then method, method, which is also very important. Method for that particular, you know, the whole process or procedure, uh, when you uh, organize that process or set up an apparatus, that what type of reagents you need, what type of apparatus you need, are, do you basically need uh, uh, only the experimental apparatus in which you need to prove something and make it absent, or uh, you, do you need to set up equally control experiment as well? When you set up something control, you have to do the comparison between the two, you know, the treated and the control one. So most of the time control setup also we do. Then there are risk assessment, very important. For every investigation, there is a risk assessment, which can be low risk investigation. It can be medium risk ex uh, ex uh, experiment or investigation, or it can be high risk experiment. High risk experiments, obviously, obvious investigation, students that do not uh, uh, conduct for, for uh, practical P5 in O level IG or even AS, uh, you have to, you know, ATP may, but still, uh, low risk or medium risk, yes, is there. So, um, uh, risk assessments are based on what type of chemical reagents you are using, how to handle those um, uh, reagents. Are they corrosive? Are they uh, produce any allergy, or skin allergy whatsoever, or ice irritation or whatsoever? Uh, flammable, like ethanol, when you boil it. Is there any when you yeast for boil it to how, how the foam, you know, foaming is so much that it can come out of it, uh, depending on that. So you, you have to see those or apparatus you are using. Is that apparatus is pure, it's not broken, it's, uh, you know, and um, uh, test tubes you are using, if they are, you know, hot, how you're going to put the test using the, what type of tools you are using, handling the test tube, tongs or whatsoever, when you use, to, when you cut something, uh, stem tubers or any section of, you know, uh, uh, biological specimen, uh, you, uh, what type of tool knife you are using, whatever forceps say you make a slide forcep you are using. So you have to see all those. Uh, you, uh, you are using the uh, test tube stands, you are using a rack, we call it, you are using a, you know, buret stand or whatsoever. So all that. But then collection and analysis of results. You know, when you get your result based on your observation, which is dependent variable, actually, uh, the dependent variable may, uh, there might be any uh, uh, factor or variable which can affect the, uh, which can might affect the results of dependent variables. So you need to basically control those variables. And those are called, those are called basically how to standardize or make your variables constant. That's very important. Now, jaldi see, dekho. there are three variables that students should identify are dependent variable already explained you the independent variable and in the, uh, and control variables. So these are the three variables you have to keep in mind. Dependent variable is what is what is measured, what is observed, what is basically the result in the practical, which is basically uh, basic, basically depends on independent variable. For example, you make different type of molar solutions and uh, the percentage change in length of the potato tubers is due to the uh, molar solution in which you are immersing those potato tubers. I hope you understand or the rate of enzyme reaction depends on the uh, temperature you are taking on independent variable as, or pH you are taking independent variable as. 
uh, independent variable is what is varied. You know, it varies. Uh, uh, it can change and it is under experimental purely controlled. And independent variable, as I already mentioned, it can be continuous variable or it, it can be discontinuous variable. That is, you know, very few students and very few teachers, uh, they focus and tell you about that independent variable can be continuous or discontinuous. Continuous means any having a range or interval, for example, temperature and pH or molar causative solutions. Uh, enzyme, um, uh, for, and for uh, uh, discontinuous independent variable means, for example, as I already mentioned, number of stomata present in the upper and lower surface. You know, that it depends. So basically, uh, independent variable, it can be both ways. Then come the control variables. As I said, control variables are what are kept constant in the practical. You should know how to control any variable. Students should describe how these variables are measured, how these variables vary, or how these variables are controlled, including the apparatus needed. Apparatus is very important. For example, measuring length with a ruler, already I mentioned you. You should have a millimeter ruler. If you don't have a millimeter ruler, what you can do is you can uh, um, you know, uh, you can convert, uh, you can take in centimeter reading and then convert it into millimeter. And further, if they ask you to convert it in micrometer, you have to multiply by 1000. This is what that need to be done. But why don't you take a simply a millimeter ruler? And don't forget, must take your calculator along. Uh, I know okay, our, uh, your mental maths is not that. I know you must be uh, very good at maths, but must take calculator for all this. Uh, needed measuring length with the ruler when stating the dependent variable, state exactly what is being measured rather than the final process result. For example, number of bubbles formed rather than the rate of photosynthesis. You know, in case of, you must remember, uh, in photosynthesis, there are so many investigation or evidences we need to prove. Even in transporting plants, there are evidences regarding phloem and uh, regarding xylem as well. So uh, nutrition in plants may carbon dioxide necessary. You have to put both ways, set up uh, treated apparatus as well as, uh, you know, you have to put the control apparatus. So in the treated apparatus, if you make carbon dioxide absent, you use soda lime. And uh, in the other one, you uh, don't put that uh, soda line there in the control experiment. Same is the case with sunlight or temperature whatsoever. But if you need to suppose prove that oxygen is given out during photosynthesis, you take aquatic plant and how, what is the apparatus using for aquatic plant? Why do we need hydrolyloidia, whatever aquatic plant and how to convert the test tube and the thistle panel and how to put it into, and uh, when you when you put it in for a few hours and the sunlight, so how the number of bubbles given out. So you are not going to collect the, Oxygen, it does, it doesn't depend on directly the, you cannot uh, uh, assess the rate of photosynthesis. You have to count the bubbles. Although counting the bubbles uh, can give you errors, uh, can give you errors at, as well. Or uh, since I'm using, I don't want to forget something, uh, using a word er errors. So errors are very important. You know, for regard regarding errors may, you can get an anomalous. Uh, I hope you must be knowing what is meant by anomal anomalous result. Anomalous result means, any which is actually not following uh, uh, the common trend, you know, there must be some other whatever. So anomalous result, you will not include in the mean or average, or even you can you will not include in the uh, graph, graph maybe the as a point. So that's also very important. So you have to just keep in mind uh, these all points, uh, you know, uh, to be considered. So a uh, um, number of bubbles may, uh, uh, you have to see that um, there, are, there are always errors counting the bubbles, whatever. So what apparatus, what type of apparatus you are using, maybe there are errors. You have to identify, they mostly ask who identify error, how to improve that error, using a proper apparatus whatsoever. So you have to mention that. So it depends how many investigations, because I always do, I just make sure uh, with all my students, suppose if I start IGCSE O level syllabus, I start with the first topic classification. So I start with the magnification ATP also. And I don't wait till, you know, later on, I will start ATP. Second, cell topic also, I start with, you know, uh, making slide and all that. Uh, then, you know, for magnification, and then I start movement in and out. So I start the investigation part of the ATP. And then I still pull up uh, basics of alternative to practical, uh, whatever the rules and regulations. So you must, uh, must be knowing this very important, you know, the information regarding investigation, uh, based question very important. Right now, I'm focusing on six marks question again saying, which asks you to plan an investigation. Okay, planning investigation can come any investigation. Uh, Abhi, I'm just going to show you, uh, you know, one they ask about, uh, you know, uh, catalyst, you know, enzyme. 
So catalase is uh, same catalase is present in different plants uh, uh, in the different type of plants. There is a question in two thousand winter, I think two thousand November eighteen paper or whatever or vitamin C paper uh, investigation, food test investigations, enzyme test investigations, and investigation respiration investigations. Respiration also very important investigation. You know, uh, uh, you must have done uh, carbon dioxide. Very important. Uh, to prove that carbon dioxide is present to lime water test. If you need to make carbon dioxide absent, so you use soda lime. If you need to, uh, 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 in the lab, increase carbon dioxide in the lab artificially, sodium bicarbonate you use in the lab. So basically, you should know all the reagents. Uh, those for gas, universal indicators, you must have done gaseous exchange, uh, different type of test tubes. Suppose in the same test tube, aquatic plant is also there along with snail. So how the rate of photosynthesis is equal to the rate of photo, um, respiration, also called compensation point, or only snail is present, it release CO2 to the CO2, uh, yellow, you know, color change due to the carb um, uh, carbon dioxide water, you know, how form the yellow color pH to indicator, purple, red, whatsoever. So you have to, I, I know that you must have done those. So that's what he's saying here. Uh, with uh, you know uh, these number of bubbles or uh, rather the rate of photosynthesis method outline the practical procedure very important make sure to specifically state the apparatus used for example volume of beakers volume of beakers and measuring cylinders give you exact exact you know uh, you know apparatus you are using whatever the measure measuring uh, measurements you are taking it is important to select apparatus you know apparatus of the uh, of the you know how precise your apparatus to give you accurate readings very important appropriate very important so you have to see that uske baad control may be necessary control is to show the actual effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable already already explained you this thing uh, for example this can be done by replacing enzyme solution with a distilled water uh, enzyme you know or replacing live organism with a dead organism live organism suppose you you put live organism into one uh, uh, for example germination you put live germinating seeds into one and you uh, into another uh, apparatus uh, test tube you put the equal mass of the beads or uh, you know a cotton of the equal mass so that's what he's saying or dead organism so instead of putting the dead organism uh, better to put the equal mass of cotton or beads because if you put dead organism uh, it will it it can it can co contaminate so uh, from my point of view, more good is to, you can put, but both you can put that organism or beads of equal mass or cotton whatsoever. Same is the case, uh, you are replacing enzyme solution with distilled water in the control one. Some examples of important procedure to keep in mind include when inserting a shoot into photometer. You must have done the photometer, photometer uh, apparatus, you know, uh, special apparatus we use. It's also called bubble photometer. IGCSC, maybe all levels, maybe you must have uh, seen the apparatus how you know photometer tells you actually the uh, transpiration is the loss of water the vapors but photometer gives you the amount of water absorbed uh, when the water is being lost so basically you introduce bubble and the bubble move keep, keeping you take the readings how much time may the bubble is moving towards left side when there is a loss of water the water is being absorbed with the photometer so uh, make sure that the cut of the shoot you know you take a shoot and you cut under water so that you you basically cut under water to avoid any air bubble so for respir respirometer practicals respirometer practicals the air must be replaced between each setup respirometer practicals be or you must have seen a latest specimen paper you must have solved there this very important thing is a uh, specimen uh, idcsc paper 6 for uh, 2023 exam um, i'm just going to jaldi say fast track sharing and for 5090 paper 4 of all levels 2023 exam but uh, feb march kabhi you must have solved feb march paper also uh, for the idcsc and wo feb march kabhi aapne solve kiya hoga but specimen papers are more than enough other than that obviously 2000 2022 back because i did uh, um, i did uh, with uh, you know, backward, I went for 2022K, all variants. If you saw most of the, all the variants from 2022 back, so you were actually more confident or you are more confident after solving all these. Some practicals he's saying involving animals may, invo may involve ethical concerns, obviously, when you have animals to animals, so you have to, you know, dissect them and, you know, uh, the ethical issue that you are killing animals or if state the ethical issues and steps you will take uh, to minimize them. For example, minimize exposure to stressful testing condition. Just say you are using humans, humans you are using as a subject, uh, as a volunteers. So humans are there, 
you must have done done you must have done uh, there was a paper on uh, you know beetroot dr drink uh, energy drink you must have done that investigation how they use the you know volunteers for like male female participants and they gave them the energy drink as a beetroot drink and uh, they asked them to you know so better to take um, same uh, you know male female ko aap le lo and uh, better to conduct experiment on the same volunteers instead of changing the volunteers and uh, giving them uh, you know trials better to use the same volunteers whatever shortlist the male and female and give them more trials instead yeah, you know so the uh, same for that they are just saying for humans gain uh, you have to just uh, you have to see that if they are getting any problem you have to stop at that particular point for example you use uh, oxygen oxygen you have to use the pure oxygen medical oxygen medical oxygen means ke jaise pure water distilled water hota hai if you take medical oxygen mask you take for some practical conducting you cannot uh, withstand sometimes you you know uh, nervous you know you feel nausea and all that so the the uh, participant should immediately tell and uh, remove that mask and all that a uh, same is the case with any issue can come even energy drinks ke sath bhi issue can come because it like beet root even can uh, you have to take empty stomach fasting may or it can uh, other like in uh, energy drinks it can uh, you know uh, reduce your blood pressure and all that so you should have these all you know important uh, uh, you know in your mind suggested practical topics uh, to ye um, you know these topics i will i'm just coming to the topics uh, as i've already mentioned you ke what are the topics that you need to uh, go through go, go through the those topics uske baad jaldi se now i'm coming back to you know coming back to if you have done with the planning investigation as i explained you to how to go about it now come back to very important that uh, based on this uh you can uh, i'm just starting from here that you have to draw now this point i'm doing graphs do you have to draw a suitable graph and must include the following suitable uh, up suitable graph what type of graph uh, depending on your tabulated readings you know suppose you have got the statistical data is given very important is uh, suppose you have a data and you have to tabulate your result how to draw a table that also important i'm going to show you you have how to draw a table means you know you have uh, different columns and cells so first column is always of independent variable second column is going to be a dependent variable and uh, units you need to just write on the top headings you do not repeat the units under the cells repeating so you must know how to draw a table based on uh, based on your uh, tabulated uh, you know the results so most of the time they ask you to tabulate the results which they mention you suppose they give you the uh, you know different independent variable may they give you different temperatures and the dependent variable may they give you number of bubbles or you know enzymes or whatever or color change in food test whatsoever so you need to tabulate your result uske baad draw suitable graph and include so suitable graph may uh, what type of graph is suitable is it a line graph uh, suitable is it a bar chart suitable is it a histogram which is suitable is it a pie chart which, which is suitable and what are basically the rules to uh, mostly they give you line graph so what are the rules for uh, 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 taking a scale on the grid proper scale you need to take and then x axis where you take independent variable y where you take dependent variable uh, and how to draw lines how to draw line either you you know when you uh, pick up the points from the table so suppose you, you have a table given independent or dependent variable motor concentration solution change in percentage in length so you take take up the readings and uh, uh, readings may you put either a point or circle around don't put only a point dot sorry dot dot and circle around or you can put a cross and sometimes if uh, on the same gra suppose graph you have more th more than one line so you can put, draw a key that one is continuous line one is dotted line and whatsoever one is dot and cross line so show you different types of line same is the case with the bar chart is the bar chart is applicable to draw for example in you know that in case of uh, discontinuous type of you know cate uh, uh, cate categories may you draw suppose the uh, fruits uh, fruits are given a vitamin c present in different type of fruits or whatever or carbohydrate present in different type of fruits or whatever so is bar chart suitable for that a uh, discrete readings ke liye you uh, draw bar chart how to draw bar chart uh, you know draw bars in uh, leave the gap in between the bars and um, are you going to use the bar in pairs pairs may be depends on the pairs also you need to uh, draw the bar charts histogram shows you the frequency frequency means you have different type of seeds or you have uh, you know different uh, uh, fruit flies are given they ask you to take the lens and uh, then you have to uh, uh, arrange them into different you know uh, diff how many uh, for example seeds are coming into the range of 1 to 9 cm then 
10 to next centimeter, then next to this, how many coming in the range. That gives you a continuous uh, kind of bell-shaped uh, histogram. Or histogram, may, there are bars, but there is no uh, gap in between, just like bar charts. So that basically depends. Axis labeled than their units. You have to be very sure about that. I don't know why students are always there, are in hurry. They do not even pick up the exact top heading from the table, uh, which is independent, dependent variable, and put exactly with units. So uh, exactly, uh, you know, exactly uh, put the headings on X and Y axis uh, with units. Okay. Uh, plot all points by pencil, then pen to be clear. It depends. Uh, pen to be clear, not necessary uh, that you need to use a pen for that. You know, you can draw the whole graph in pencil, but make sure that the graph points are very, very clear. The points are very clear. Line graphs, line graphs are the one, you know, when say passing through points or suitable graph or when there is time as variable, it can be straight, best fit line or smooth curve. Uh, in biology, in biology, you uh, you can draw a ruled, a ruled uh, line. Uh, like for example, even if it's a curve or best line may, for example, if there are points on uh, rate, well, osmosis one, uh, the point, some point is out of the straight line. So you can just uh, leave those points and draw a best fit line. You know, so it depends. You must have done that. Uh, uh, then come to the uh, bar, bar charts. Huh. In osmosis, may you must have seen there is a zero in the middle. Upper may there is a positive sign. Then there is a negative below. And zero ke upar x axis may there are uh, molar concentration is given. So positive means when they get, uh, uh, gain in length, potato tubers gained in length or mass, or negative means they lose uh, due to flaccidity and all that. So you have to see what type of graph and what type of uh, independent dependent variable given and what type of graph need to be drawn. So that it's very important. Bar charts when to compare, uh, when to compare, as I already explained, in, in case of discrete information given, discrete, uh, for example, different type of fruits given. So once you, uh, common headings, you fruit, uh, right in the middle, and you put the uh, you know headings of the fruits and y-axis pay vitamin C content, whatever the percentage, vitamin C, so what whatsoever. You must have done that. Pie charts when draws a pie charts and figures is given. Pie chart is the one you know that. For example, the uh, you know carbohydrates are this these in the balanced diet and uh, proteins and you know minerals and whatsoever. So pie charts also circular one, and you must have seen that. Take readings from graph. Line graph by extending line or curve. So taking uh, readings from graph is very important. For example, to find unknown concentration from the graph, to uh, find unknown uh, water potential from the graph, how to, you know, uh, 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 from the graph, how to read, you know, find out the unknown, suppose water potential, you have to see how the line intersecting between the two water potential divided by, it divided it by two. Same is the case with the other reading, you have to see the, um, you know, you have to draw vertical and uh, horizontal line to see how many, uh, you know, how much uh, oxygen is given out and whatever. So that it depends from the graph you have to, uh, you know, uh, take the readings. Explain results either directly or inversely, very important. Yeah, either your results are directly proportional, so key, uh, with increase in light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis increasing, or inversely proportional. You know, inversely proportional, you have to see that. Is it directly proportional or inversely proportional? So curves are going to be different. And some details from graph to support your answer. That's also very important. To label some parts, uh, palisade, xylem, extra, whatever he's given, already told you label, label, labeling. Eh? Any labeling can come. Any labeling of biological specimen, any labeling of drawings given, photomicrograph, electron micrograph, say, uh, given, uh, which are in your course in syllabus, in the topics. But if it's not in your course, so they will obviously not uh, ask you to label them. Uske baad then, purpose of experiment. As control experiment to compare results already explained you. Control experiments as well. Uh, uh, uske baad then, applying some formula given, given to you. A formula is given to you. Obviously, you have to see that. A magnification already told you. Suppose they have given you magnification to calculate. Please, you have to magnification steps you have to write. Uh, in terms of the, you know, line, uh, they leave line for you to, uh, in millimeter, uh, you know, X, Y line, what is the, uh, the millim in millimeter, the length of the line, whatsoever. So you have to see that. Uske baad magnification, suppose no units, but sign into sign is given or millimeter uh, unit is given, just you put, uh, need to put the uh, value uh, over there. Same is the case with any other, um, you know, formula given, percentage change in length, uh, uh, difference in the, you know, uh, potato tubers, difference in the, a final and uh, initial and divided by initial into 100, is it the percentage change or whatever, the mean or whatsoever. 
or uh, important thing is when you plan an investigation, very important thing is that ending up with the investigation, you have to have the safety measures as I already told you, what are the safety measures and how to make your result reliable. That's very important to make your result reliable when you extend your experiment and uh, reliable means you, you take an average mean, you know, so you make your result more reliable and you always start with more samples. Uh, larger samples, you start your experiment. Uh, for example, temperature care to five minimum readings you should take so that uh, easily you can make a graph as well. So that, that all counts fail. Counts for all this. Complete headings of a table, gram, centimeter, second, etc. whatever given. Uh, you know, stopwatch. You should know how to, you know, uh, you should identify. Is it a burette? Is it a, a measuring cylinder? Is it a, you know, uh, what type of uh, apparatus is given? So you should have a test tube hai, what's a beaker hai, so a stopwatch hai, a scale, digital scale hai, uh, what type of apparatus given, a timer hai, uh, you know, blood pressure ke liye hai. So you should know what uh, counting and making a tally table, tally tables in frequency ones, tally tables you make in the frequency one. And you must have, you must be knowing, uh, like for example, uh, measuring the surface you, area of the leaf, you must have done that because I've seen uh, kids were asking, you uh, the grid provided and you, uh, your leaf is given, uh, you draw outline and you have to see how many boxes, full box or more than half box or half box, box covered, then you measure it in terms of that, uh, you know, the surface area of the leaf or grid may given as so that it depends. Uh, calculate percentage increase, decrease, already told you, increase or decrease percentage formula, safety precautions, uh, fume, fume cupboard, fume cupboard, heat in hot water path, wear gloves, goggles, uh, uh, you know, uh, also important. Or uh, uh, what type of apparatus you are using. Abhi, I will come to, uh, you know, the specimen papers, uh, polystrain, whatever they were asking, why we use it because insulate, heat and all that. So wo bhi questions, you must have done that paper as well. Giving sur surface area by counting completing squares. Ye wohi aagya, surface completing squares, uh, surface area, uh, either it's an uh, insect, it's a leaf or so ever. So already explained you. Experiment accuracy improvements using like electronic balance, as I said, uh, your uh, spatula you can take and uh, exact, you know, you can uh, measure the whatever salt you are taking or uh, glucose or whatever you are taking the sample, you know, you need to. Use larger number of sample, larger number of sample already explained. Use lit and yes, polystyrene cup, polystyrene cup, Abhi, you know, someone was asking yesterday I was teaching. So polystyrene cup, because it insulates heat and all that, you must have done that. So this is also in the paper. Uh, in heating experiment, using data logger. Logger, you know, data logger, it can detect the data uh, of the timer and stopwatch. Uh, stopwatch is very important. You can start and you can stop stopwatch also. Uh, you you must have, um, you must be knowing probes, probes in the fermenter. They uh, basically detect the change in pH and temperature. So yes, are these very important to be fair and keep factors same and constant. Fair means you should avoid any biased results. So there should be a fair, um, you know, factors of constant. Use uh, use burette instead of measuring cylinder. You know, uh, chemistry may be burette. Kya hota hai, how to do those experiment? You know, titration experiment type. Uh, common one to repeat. Ye jo abhi main already bata chuki. Repeat and take average mean it makes your result more reliable. Which is the end of the story of your six marks investigation question. How to make your result reliable? Uh, common one to repeat uh, taking measurement mean same apparatus and instrument. Same apparatus instrument you use. Uh, control temperature and pH and so on. Achha, ab ye jo keh rahe na ye jo ab ye these are the topics now. These are the topics is a little bit jaldi se mentioning. Classification of invertebrates. Up, I have to make you one thing very clear because I got a lot of queries about it. Uh, for example, classification in IGCC, all, all of us both. Uh, you know that uh, uh, the kingdoms were given in classification by nobile naming and all that. And there were five kingdom, prokaryote, proctoste, and fungus, and animal kingdom, and uh, 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 plant kingdom were given. But in case of animal kingdom, vertebrates or invertebrates, vertebrates ki of five classes given. In vertebrates, may, uh, mostly, uh, but the phylum, the uh, detail me tha, uh, it was basically it's uh, arthropods. Arthropods are larger forms, ki four classes and all that. Arthropods in your course, so they can give you anything from any class, millipedes, centipedes, crustaceans, whatever, so ever. 
uh, um, uh, you know, accurate ac ac needs of, um, uh, of whatever the class uh, I'm talking about. But in case of, uh, if they give you a mollusk, mollusk is the phylum with, you know, snails and mussels belong to mollusk. They will not, uh, they will not ask you about mollusk, but they can give you snail or whatever they ask, ask you to draw snail. Uska shell hai. I've seen a past paper. Uska shell hai. So is the shell coiled or is the shell um, cone shape or is the shell giving, um, you know, circles in semicircles? So you have to see that. You have to draw even in a plant drawings also. So you have to see what type of shell is given. Then there, there was a question on, uh, a common question tha usme, worms. Ke. Worms given hai, worms belong to phylum nematodo annelids. Uh, Artworm hai, wo leeches hai, whatsoever. Worms jo hai, worms, you know, pin worms also. Uh, uh, so these are parasites. So worms they can give you and they ask you to draw five, six worms and whatsoever. But they will not uh, they will not ask you any information regarding uh, phylum of the annelida or nematoda or mollusks which are not in your course. Hydra given a hydra. Uh, hydra is simple multicellular organism. Aapko hydra ka to, you know, you must be knowing the asexual reproduction. Budding se hydra bhi budding se hoti hai. Jaise, uh, uh, you know, bandifagin in uh, usme hoti hai, uh, you know, amoeba mein or um, uh, bacteria mein or yeast mein budding hoti hai, jaise potato mein bhi budding. So all is different for that. So information according to classification, invertebrate, name of group, features. So bring it to, keep in mind this thing. Or uh, then they can give you accordingly classification. Say. Same is the case with plants. A plant's key classification is uh, angiosperms, we call them flowering plants. Flowering plants further divided into, I'm not writing each and everything. It will take a lot of time. Flowering plants, you have, I don't, uh, I don't um, recommend teacher during a session using the digital pen uh, because they, it takes time. And when you write, uh, even I write, I will not write that good exactly that everyone can understand my handwriting. I have seen teachers explaining uh, with the help of digital pen, there is no use for that. I have taken uh, all the stuff which is typed and uh, it should be clear so you can see through the screen and then you can listen as well. I just edit it wherever I need to so that it's more clear and all that. I don't need to waste my time drawing the diagrams, which I never did in, uh, uh, for paper, theory papers in uh, last session, because it takes a lot of time uh, and it's all useless because we have all content uh, uh, given in the on the websites. We have the uh, content in the notes and all that type notes and all books are given. So there is no need for that. That's why I'm just repeating with this. So you need to see that what type of, uh, you know, uh, it's given from the uh, classification. Uh, monocot, uh, monocots and dicot. Uh, monocot, dicot lead their difference and stem made comparison. And then uh, the other ones are called conifers, cone bearing plants, you know. So uske baad, there are simple multicellular plants, ferns and bryophytes, mosses and ferns. You must have seen the leaf of the fern is different. Uh, the fronds, we call it frond and having a flattened stem and all that. You must have done those. So jo aapne kiya hai, that's very important. Uh, what are the typical features of insects? and the other classes also. So, Baki, don't worry about it. You are not going to get anything uh, in classification. They are, will never ask you the features which are not in your course, but you can draw those and tip observable may you can draw. Yes, classification may dichotomous uh, key, you must remember. What is dichotomous key? How to shorten your, you know, how to start with uh, something you need to identify plant or animals and you have to shorten it. Ultimately, you identify the typical plant or animal, whatever, uh, through the dichotomous key. So you must have done what is dichotomous key also. Uh, adaptations of animals, uh, camouflage, whatever, uh, you must, knowing natural selection, maybe how, uh, you know, uh, what your peppered moths, wala, peppered moths, how uh, they, uh, you know, uh, after the pollution, uh, dark peppered moth, light peppered moth, and then the snails key example of camouflage and all that. So adaptations made. Uske baad pH measured by universal indicator. Already I told you, pH measured by universal indicator. Uh, pH meter hota hai, we can use, but if you need to, remember one thing, suppose if you need to variable constant temperature, we use a water bath and thermostatically controlled water bath, which is uh, through the electricity, thermostatically controlled, that is also very good to be used uh, to keep the temperature constant. For pH, I, 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 um, uh, I think you must have done, uh, if you, you need to uh, keep the constant pH, uh, so avoid any alteration in uh, increase or decrease in pH. You use a buffer. Buffer is a pro when you know protein dissolve in water becomes buffer. So most of the things they are not from A levels or whatever. You need to know buffer we use. Same is the case with. Uh, there is one apparatus I'm writing here uh, to exactly 
color change if you want to see the color change how you know starch when convert into reducing sugar to iodine say how you keep looking at the color change or reducing sugar with benedict how you observe the color change you know for example you take catalase enzyme to catalase converts hydrogen peroxide into uh, water and oxygen so when you measure the amount of oxygen it tells you the uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide as a substrate and the product coming out how uh, fast the you are collecting that oxygen uh, the product another one through color change you can see and there are two very important terms uh, we use uh, one is called qualitative another one is called quantitative qualitative means you know color change you know whatever you can observe uh, color change texture appearance quantitative means exactly numerical value numerical quantitative kitna kitni numerical value is given so these are the uh, things which uh, you should know all this you know very important so uh, hydrogen carbonate uh, same is the case as i said buffer you can use for ph uske liye uh, volume uh, remain constant uh, concentration and volume of the reagent concentration and volume of the solutions you are using how to keep them constant so you can use those iske uh, i i you know calorie meter there is a calorie meter i am writing here apparatus calorie meter calorie meter we use to measure exact uh, um, you know color change calorie meter is apparatus just like ph meter otherwise we use for ph to keep constant buffer calorie meter ki jagah we mostly say that we can observe the color change you know simply but calorie meter exact gives us the color change so that it depends uh, how to you know have your exactly accurate apparatus and stuff giving ratios in uh, you know ha huh, the round results always two or three significant figures you must be know, knowing how to round your results into significant figures that's not very Uh, uh, difficult at all. Even paper two, maybe you know all uh, you know can uh, it came or whatever it can come. Giving ratios in simplest form, uh, even surface area to volume ratio, you can give in simplest form. Uh, you uh, Mendelian crosses may you can give the ratios in simplest form. Rate is always what is rate? Rate, rate, volume of gas slash time taken. Some observations to be recorded. You know you need to record some observation depends. Leaving experiment after heating. leaving experiment after heating you know after heat you have to leave experiment to why why you need to leave experiment to avoid the effect of the previous one and to provide time to adapt temperature adapt temperature may means uh, before you start taking another reading uh, equilibrate or acclimatize this is a word given to get uh, adapted into the environment uh, temperature enzyme experiment very common you know you get lot of experiment investigation to prove that optimum temperature needed optimum ph needed for uh, enzyme catalase for amylase for pepsin whatsoever it depends uske baad then steps follows are same volume concentration same reagents uh, same volume or same enzyme in case of temperature enzyme experiments uh, same apparatus use same time intervals you know there is a there is a term we use interval and range so you should know the difference between interval and range same apparatus use same time interval control ph as i said buffer you can use apply different temperatures you can apply you can uh, different temperatures uh, depending on the thermometer you can use for that uh, note readings and results you need to note reading and results uske baad plot them uh, you plot you know note the readings and result in the table tabulated with a top heading always or first column is always independent then the second dependent or dependent uh, column can be ex extended further for example molar solutions is the concentrated solution is the independent variable then percentage change in length hai to difference nikala apne op then a mean in the length you can further extend or uh, color changes in the uh, you know uh, reducing sugar test can further or number of bubbles you can further extend dependent variable column but it depends or only it, it's given the uh, hot or uh, cold or whatsoever so you have uh, uh, readings and you can just put into that or cells and column or top heading may don't forget only units on the top heading you're not going to repeat uh, the units underneath Uh, so plot them and compare repeat uh, and take average uh, to make your results reliable steps to follow in ph uh, uh, enzyme experiment as a uh, first i said temperature same volume and concentration of same reagent uh, same of volume of same enzyme same apparatus use same time interval control temperature um, uh, control temperature water bath or thermostatically controlled temperature apply different ph you can apply different ph it can be acidic it can be neutral it can be alkaline so depending on putting into different ph solution note readings and results plot them and compare repeat and take an average to give you a more reliable result germination experiment where ph is a variable germination is a process in which seed change into seedling what the condition you need to prove them you must remember uh, moisture 
यू हैव टू मेक इट वाटर एब्सेंट तो आप उसमें वाटर की जगह बीट्स डाल दो या यू नो कॉटन डाल दो ऑक्सीजन को एब्सेंट यू हैव टू ऑक्सीजन इम्पोर्टेंट टू मेक इट एब्सेंट तो इधर यू यूज यू नो आपको उसके लिए यू कैन यूज एल्कलाइन पैरा गेलॉल यू नो दिस इज ऑल वेरी कॉमन अदर देन वॉटर ऑयल डाल दो आप वॉट एवर ऑप्टिमम टेम्परेचर के लिए आप आइस में रखो कोल्ड में रखो वॉट्स एवर सो बेसिकली वेयर पी एच इज वेरीबल यू सेम सीड्स ड्यू टू एज स्पीशीज यू नो आप सपोज यू आर यूजिंग जेमिनेटिंग सीड्स तो यू नीड टू पुट द जेमिनेटिंग लाइव सीड्स एंड अदर वन में कंट्रोल में दे आर डेड सीड्स इधर और एज आई सेट इक्वल मैस वॉल्यूम के बीड्स ले लो इन सेट ऑफ डेड सीड्स सो दैट यू नीड टू सी द सपोज यू नीड टू प्रूव दैट के टेम्परेचर राइजेज बिट पेन uh uh temperature rises in the thermos flask uh, when there is a uh, when the respiring uh, when the uh, germinating seed respire so you have to see that uh, when they respire to what happens even if you put the dead seeds to agar there is a slight somewhere error say aa gaya temperature mein fluctuation why because if you are using the dead seeds then you have to um, uh, sterilize them sterilize means uh, you know free of germs aapko usko sterilize karna hai you know सो स्टरलाइजेशन के बाद देन इट विल नॉट कंटेमिनेट टू गिव यू थोड़ा सा रिजल्ट यू नो माइट इफेक्ट द रिजल्ट टेम्परेचर कैन इवन राइज ड्यू टू कंटेमिनेशन ऑफ दैट यू नो डेड सीड्स सो सेम वॉल्यूम एंड सेम एंजाइम यू सेम अपरेटर्स की टाइम इन टर्वर्स द सेम कंट्रोल टेम्परेचर कंडक्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ओवर डिफरेंट पी एच Uh, note reading and results plot them and co compare repeat experiments see okay, okay. uske baad experiments where rate uh, needs to be calculated add to 2 to 3 cm cube of culture to the test tube culture solution you must you heard about what is culture solution aapne wo nutrition in plants mein bhi culture solution experiment you must have complete culture solution is the one which is needed for the proper growth of plants और इनकम्प्लीट का मतलब होता है इफ यू नीड टू सपोज प्रूव के मैग्नीशियम इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर क्लोरोफिल फॉर्मेशन तो यू नीड टू एब्सेंट मैग्नीशियम फ्रॉम द सॉइल वो जो सॉल्ट यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग और नाइट्रोजन इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर प्रोटीन सेंसेस इम्यूनो एसिड सेंसेस तो नाइट्रोजन को यू मेक इट एब्सेंट सो दैट इट डिपेंड्स कल्चर सोल्यूशन का वो आप रखते हो देन आप उसको आउटर में ब्लैक से कवर कर देते हो नो प्रिवेंट इट फ्रॉम सन लाइट कंटेमिनेशन एंड ऑल दैट सो दैट्स वॉट ईज सेंग उसके बाद शेक इट Uh, uh, connect test tube to a gas ring. Gas ring gives you exact whatever displacement of the volume of suppose oxygen to be collected. Note gas volume, control temperature, record time by stopwatch, plot them and compare. Repeat uh, same experiment. Uske baad then uh, variables to be constant experiment in, uh, involving cooling. For example, room temperature, time interval, temperature, volume of water. Determine the number of stomata. As I said, number of stomata, dipot mein number of stomata are more under 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 lower surface as compared to upper. मोनोकॉट में नंबर ऑफ स्मेट अपर लोअर में प्रेजेंट ऑलमोस्ट इन इक्वल अमाउंट ठीक है सो व्यू द लीफ अंडर माइक्रोस्कोप एट हाई मैग्निफिकेशन मस्ट टेल यू वन थिंग लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप का देर इज आई पीस देर इज अब्जेक्टिव लेंस ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस के देर इज अलो मैग्निफिकेशन जिसमें लो मैग्निफिकेशन में यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट इट मीन दैट इट्स बेसिकली इन कैमरेज वी टेक टेन वैसे इन लेबोरेटरी इट कैन बी फोर इट कैन बी फाइव इन विच सपोज यू हैव अ स्लाइड a uh, prepared slide of dicot leaf so you can see the whole specimen under low uh, low uh, power and low power may even draw draw the plan drawing and high power you have to click it objective lens go and move it to 40 40 may even suppose they ask you to draw four epidermal cell four xylem vessel touching four uh, guard cells along with the adjoining epidermal cell whatsoever that is called high power so that's what he is saying के हाई मैग्निफिकेशन काउंट द नंबर ऑफ स्टोमेटा डिटर्मिन द एरिया ऑफ स्टोमेटा कैलकुलेट एरिया ऑफ स्टोमेटा यूजिंग अ ग्रिड ग्रिड यू नो ग्रिड तो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज ऑलरेडी मैंशन टू सरफेस एरिया ऑफ लीव और वॉट एवर डिटर्मिनिंग द रेट अपटेक वॉटर बाई प्लान ट्रांसपेरेशन रेट ट्रांसपेरेशन यू मस्ट बी नोइंग ट्रांसपेरेशन में सिंपल ट्रांसपेरेशन में वी यूज बेलजार्स बेलजार्स बेलजार इज यू नो एंड यू यूज शूट और Uh, when the transpiration occurs, so how the vapors जो है कंडेंस अराउंड द बेल जार फिर उसके बाद देर इज अ मैस में वो मैस में यू यू नो इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज वैन यू पुट इट अंडर डिफरेंट ट्रांसपेरेशन कंडीशन जैसे कि हाई विंड इंक्रीज इज द रेट ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेशन यू कैन ओपन स्विच ऑन द फैन और हाई टेम्परेचर और मोर सन लाइट और वॉट एवर वॉट आर द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन फैक्टर्स विच कैन इंक्रीज द रेट एंड यू कैन सो सी दोज कंडीशन टू कीप कॉन्स्टेंट प्लान स्पीशीज plant species constant number of plants uh, volume of plants volume volume of plants uh, volume of water 
volume of uh, plants, volume of water, time interval, apparatus, light intensity, method, control of pH and temperature, note readings, plot and compare, repeats and take average, making brief comparison compa com uh, comprising of number, size, color, presence of some special parts, shape, surface area, already I mentioned you. Uh, drawing certain parts of plant and animal, already mentioned you this. Uh, use a sharp HB pencil, draw clear and similar uh, shape, uh, avoiding shading, no shading, uh, coloring, make accurate labels, at least, you know, labels. Labels may to obviously, if he asks you to uh, use the labels, uh, um, uh, then you label it. Otherwise, you don't need to. Uh, draw uh, according to the magnification asked uh, in the paper. So that it all, it depends. Uh, what basically photomicrograph he has given you in terms of uh, photomicrograph and ask you to draw that. Uh, is it only the part of the specimen or drawing, the biological specimen or drawing or in photomicrograph, is he asking you a full, full uh, cell or full, you know, uh, seed or full, you know, uh, flower whatsoever. Make biological tests already, you know, I discussed. I need to know whether or not particular type of molecule is present in solution, number of simple chemical tests that can be carried out, biological solution, uh, lipid test, you have, uh, you know, fat emulsion test, uh, feature of fat and oil, they are insoluble in water, you must be knowing that, that you cannot make an aqueous solution of a fat or oil on which uh, to carry out a biochemical test. When you use a sample, so there are two types of samples we use. If it's solid, you have to disintegrate, you know, uh, in the pestle and motor, and make a solution. If it's already solution formed, so then there is no need for that. This uh, this means that you cannot make an aqueous solution of fat or oil in which to carry out a biochemical test. However, the fact that lipids are in soluble forms, the basis of the physical test. This is known as the emulsion test. How to uh, two same cube? As I said, whatever the reagent you are taking and the sample. Suppose in this case you are taking the margarine, suppose you are taking, uh, and you are taking ethanol, so 2 cm cube, 2 cm cube, or you are taking reducing sugar test with 2 cm cube, Benedict 2 cm cube, or glucose whatsoever. Same is the case with the uh, Bure test, whatever you're taking the specimen, uh, both the solutions. And the mixture is gently shaken. In this case, you, have, you can shake the mixture to see the fat emulsion test, positive test. Are you going to shake or are you going to heat? So you have to food test. Mein dekhna hai. Heat to boil is a reducing sugar test. No shake, wo iodine test may be. And even if it's shaking, you have to shake it. Uh, protein test, mein, uh, beer test, mein, even you, you don't shake it, but you can shake it. So uh, if protein is present, immediately it will give you the uh, purple or uh, you know, violet color. Jo hai, wo aapko de dega. Same is the case with this. Uh, yes, testing for vitamin C using DCPIP. DCPIP is the one. You have to, you know, uh, for this, that vitamin C takes the color out of a blue dye called DCPIP. No one is going to ask you what is DCPIP stands for. It's a full long word. Even we don't uh, do in A-levels. So DCPIP is the solution which is originally blue in color. And if vitamin C is present, become colorless. Up, you have to see that if the concentration of the vitamin C is more, so then the DCPIP will change, become colorless in least time. In least time. This is what that concept, you should um, bring it to your mind. Uh, the number of drops of vitamin C solution needed to make th uh, this happen depends on how concentrated the vitamin C solution, as I already told you. So if you drop strong vitamin C solutions, uh, agar strong vitamin C solution, uh, you need to put few drops and it will give you a color change. It become colorless. If many drops come up, okay, vitamin C is a, a weak solution. It's a dilute solution. Control is needed to make sure that your results are valid. Validity ke liye, to show that test is working properly, a solution that is known as the substance is tested. For example, virate reagent is used with a solution known as known to contain protein. This should be given a result. To show that test solutions are not contaminated, each set should be carried out on a sample of water. So given a negative result. Matab, aapko ek sample of water hai, jo control pe use kar rahe, control wo jo hai, wo, wo negative result dega. The other, suppose you have three test tubes, A, B, and C. So, A, me aapne kya kya dala hai, A, me B, me kya dala hai, C, me kya dala hai, water hai khali. We can use it, it, it as a control. Example, protein me dekho, few drops of burette reagent. Burette reagent, as I said, there are two solutions, sodium hydroxide uh, and copper sulfate. Sodium hydroxide is colorless, copper sulfate is blue in color. And then it gives you mixture of the gently, when you shake it, to massive purple color. Even if you don't shake it gently, uh, to it will give you a color if your protein is present. To test for star, few drops of iodine, you know, potassium iodide is present in the solution. 
it bind uh, uh, actually it bounds with that whatever you are check, checking for starch added to two cm cube of unknown solution to be tested which contains starch suppose up uh, starch test curry or potato liya or starch solution or whatsoever it will turn blue black but if you are taking a leaf to check for the starch test uh, reminding you uh, nutrition in uh, plants ki jo investigations hain Uh, before conducting any investigation of photosynthesis, you have to put the potted plant in the dark for minimum. कितने कितने के लिए आपने रखना है for forty eight hours. Uh, he asked you why we need to put it in the dark for forty eight hours just to make sure that new starch has been made. That's very important. So uh, you have to just see that. कि वो जो starch test leaf का है वो it's different. You have to boil in ethanol. Ethanol is fl flammable. तो व्हेन यू बॉयल इट तो एथेनॉल में आपने किया तो इट उसके बाद इट डीकलराइजेस यू नो क्लोरोफिल एक्सट्रैक्ट हो गया एंड देन यू कूल इट एंड देन यू चेक इट फॉर स्टार्च एंड सो ऑन क्लोरोफिल इज नेसेसरी फॉर व्हाट इज इट यू टेक द वेरीगेटेड लीव्स वी आर हैविंग अ पैचेस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल कंटेनिंग एंड नॉन क्लोरोफिल कंटेनिंग पैचेस एंड द मिक्सचर जेंट कलर सो डीप ब्लू ब्लैक कलर गिव्स यू पॉजिटिव फॉर स्टार्च टू टेस्ट फॉर ग्लूकोस एज अ रिड्यूसिंग शुगर मींस You know, reducing sugar. There, there is a non-reducing acid. Sucrose is there, not in your course. It's in A levels. But reducing का मतलब होता है, you know, it reduces copper. Actually, to copper sulfate का वो उसमें reduce करता है copper ions में, तो वो you get the orange red. So all monodiacrylates are reducing sugar except sucrose, as I already mentioned, just for the sake of information. Reducing sugar to CM cube Benedict reagent, which is originally blue in color. Added to the two CM cube of unknown solution. Suppose you are taking glucose whatsoever. and mixture to be heated heat to boil aapko wo flame ke sath rakhna hai beaker of water usme water hai and thermometer bhi hai heat to boil test tube ko tilt rakhe don't in front of you even you uh, you know gloves pen or you uh, you should have tong uh, to hold for the test tubes and you should wear goggles for this ye sari safety measures hain you should take uh, because uh, ethanol jo hai wo uh, sorry benedict ko when aapke boil hoga to you know it can boil so add it to a uh, solution dialogue or heating to boil for 2 to 3 minutes a minimum of uh 80 degree centigrade uh, orange uh, brick red color red brick color dega in between aapko wo as i earlier said blue ke baad uh, yellow green de sakta hai if, if the concentration of the glucose is less to in between wo thoda color aa sakta hai green yellow but agar wo concentration zyada hai to jaldi se it will give you the orange red color which uh, indicates presence uh, making comparison between different solution for example to compare the glucose content of different wine samples it is important to carry out all under test the same condition for example a series of benedict test should be performed uske baad ye equal volume of unknown solutions uh, uh, using equal volumes of benedict solution uh, with uh, all mixture heated and same temperature for the same length of time now so far i i have you know given you uh, uh, everything regarding uh, you know uh, whatever it, actually it was needed but the thing is there is one very important topic which i need to discuss here for investigation uh, it's a it's a plant side say it's coordination in plants which is in igcse it used to be in igcse added in your o levels as well coordination in plants mein it's a you know a phototropism and geotropism gravitropism wala jo topic hai usme there is very important uh, you know growth regulator which is called auxin so role of auxin is very important how that you you know auxin present in the uh, tips shoot tips mein aur wo how they produce their impact that uh you know auxin help you know phototropism jo hai unidirectional auxins are produced in the tip then they move uh, diffuse downwards away from the sunlight they accumulate at the darker side to darker side it become you know uh, it become uh, uh, jo hai curvature occurs and it moves towards a uh, unidirectional uh, light one thing geotropism other than that there is important yahan pe i am writing auxins ke sath jo hai na i have given my students a full uh, you know pdf on that in which they have given the auxin ke experiments which are very important and they can give you unseen experiment regarding this or there is an apparatus called you must have done a clinostat 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 jo hai this is an apparatus c se bhi likha ja sakta hai k se bhi clinostat is the one which prove agar aapko uniform you know you take a potted plant you put on the clinostat uniform distribution ho rahi hai or it you know showing you phototropism geotropism clinostat experiment other than that यू नो कलेक्टाइल शीट वो टिप्स ले लें वो जो वीट वो हो रही है मोनोकॉटलिटनेस के एंड यू कट द टिप टिप्स पे वो है प्रेजेंट इफ यू कट द टिप और उसके बाद आपने टिप कट कर दी तो दे विल नॉट रिगेन हाइट बिकॉज ऑक्सीजन आर नॉट देयर सपोज आपने उन टिप्स को यू कट द टिप्स एंड पुट दैम ऑन द एगर ब्लॉक्स तो एगर ब्लॉक्स में वो जो ऑक्सीजन डिफ्यूज इन टू द एगर ब्लॉक्स एंड देन यू पुट द एगर ब्लॉक्स ऑन द कट 
ends of the shoot so they will resume the uh, uh, growth you know auxin uh, jo hai they uh, favors the uh, elongation and growth so that these are the experiments very important along with the clinostat so i hope you have done that i i you know it's very important because some topics some topics which uh, they give you uh, because if you don't know the apparatus clinostat kya hota hai you haven't done the experiments on you don't know auxin uh, you don't know the concept you can't do it uske baad ye jo main i'm just showing you ye uh, you know i have taken out though it's very simple they are not that um, uh, good but uh, but still sharing ye uh, ye z notes ke hain ye already i told you ye they have uh, ha i'm just sharing this because of the seed ye drawing of a, to show seed seed ka structure very important you know monocot seed or dicot seed what is seed ka basically structure you know embryo jo hai embryo ke three parts hain uh, you must have done that uh, fertilization in plants ka pura process तो वो जो एम्ब्रियो है उसके कॉटेलिडन डेवलप्स इन टू फोलियज लीव रेडिकल डेवलप्स इन टू रूट और जो प्लीम्यूल है डेवलप्स इन टू शूट सो यू शुड नो द मोनोकॉट का मोनोकॉट का मींस का मतलब वन कॉट सीड लीव डाय में टू सीड लीव डायकॉट कॉटेलिडनस का मतलब इट्स मोर इन डायकॉट वाले में प्रेजेंट जो आपके प्लांट्स हैं डायकॉटेलिडनस मोनोकॉट में जो है वो एंडोस्पॉम इज द न्यूट्रिटिव टिश्यू और जो आपके डायकॉट है उसमें कॉटेलिडन इज द न्यूट्रिटिव टिश्यू यू शुड नो द लेबलिंग ऑफ यू नो जैसे इसमें भी दिया हुआ है और इवन मैग्निफिकेशन फार्मूला दिया हुआ है लेंथ ऑफ ड्राइंग दे कैन आस्क यू टू ड्रॉ दिस सो बेसिकली बेसिकली जस्ट शोइंग यू के दे कैन गिव यू दिस टाइप कंपैरिजन मेक श्योर पॉइंट्स यू यूज टू कंपेयर डायग्राम एंड फिजिकल अच्छा सपोज यू नीड टू कंपेयर सपोज दे गिव यू फिगर वन पॉइंट वन विच इज गिवन एंड दे आस्क यू टू फिगर टू पॉइंट टू देर इज वन यू नो हाइड्रोफिटिक प्लांट का है कुछ एक्जीरोफिटिक का है दे आस्क यू टू पिक अप द फीचर्स एंड कंपेयर द टू you know even in the case of uh, blood cell taken from human blood cell taken from chicks whatever to aap jab comparison karte hain make a table to pick up the features or figure 1.1 usko uh, compare karo with the figure 1.2 to observable features are very important um, uh, what are the number of vascular bundles given is that the, 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 uh, what type of you know layer cortex whatever whatever features you pick up usme comparison make sure points you use to compare diagrams are visible in the diagram observable one use labels on the diagrams as as your guide you can compare number shape and proportional size yes you can compare on the basis of blood cells suppose hai uh, how many number present in chick wala or humans mein to number hai shape hai size hai don't uh, uh, compare sizes unless you you uh, you have you are given uh, a scale so uske baad drawing graphs I already told you use a sharp pencil both axes you with units choose even scale for each axis use up much of the grid as possible control variable is plotted on the x axis already told you all the variable dependent variable that changes as a result in the change in the other plotted on the y axis already told you uh, join your plots as as rule line rule line in biology uh, cross or uh, dot or circle around uh, you, uh, uh, when drawing bar chart all bars must be of the same width uh, but with a uh, with a gap in between designing experiment already told you find the variable which is to be changed from the question and mention how you are going to change it there was a question in the specimen ke what is the variable the size of the agar blocks was not the independent wo variable ka wo kids were asking wo usme wo question tha to surface area was the one so you have to see that what is independent variable what is actually the dependent variable uh, find the variable which is to be changed from the question and mention how you are going to change it list all variables that you have to keep constant already explained you what are controlled and standardized variables how to do them mention how long your experiment will last uh, stay how you will measure experiment result change in color for example i already explained write uh, repeat of the experiment to get more already told you to minim minimize errors to get more reliable result you have to uh, set up a control with experiment already explained you uh, I, enzyme activity may there is very important enzyme i hope you must have done very common name of the enzyme which is called catalase catalase jo hai acha from where do we need to extract catalase catalase ko extract karte hain plant potato plant potato plant mein se uh, you know celery uh, stalks mein se uh, yeah, liver mein se uh yes maybe you 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 have to see that kis pe aap extract kar rahe ho catalase is an enzyme which catalyzes the reaction uh convert hydrogen catalyzer reaction in which you can see here hydrogen peroxide h2o2 converts into water and oxygen is a balanced equation it's you have to see the balanced equation uh the oxygen is given out which is harmless because due to most of the chemical reactions catalase you know it's a kind of intracellular enzyme yesterday i was asking someone what is the comparison difference between intracellular extracellular intracellular enzyme present within the cell extra outside the cell 
Extracellular enzymes are the ones basically uh, jo digestive enzyme, hydrolytic enzymes. Or catalase is intracellular example. Myelase is an extracellular example. Hai. So most of the metabolic reaction, may, one of the extracellular product is hydrogen peroxide, which is toxic for the body, should immediately convert into water and oxygen. So this reaction, up, up the same reaction can occur two ways. A to organic catalyst, which is uh, catalase, or it can also occur in the presence of inorganic catalyst, which is non-biological -bio catalyst called manganese oxide. So uh, they can give you investigation based that manganese oxide is not going to get affected in terms of rate of reaction, even if you boil it. But if you boil the catalase, boil it will become denatured because it's an enzyme made up of a 3D shape globular protein. It, uh, it will denature it. So you should know the difference. Method put two CM cube hydrogen type, uh, in the peroxide in a test tube. Fresh potato strips, you uh, will boil it or fresh. Hai. You see and shake gently. Keep your thumb on top of the test tube. Why thumb? Uh, or use a stopper or retain the gas. You should know the why. Why thumb? So you, 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 know, you should know why we need to. So basically, you should be, uh, you know, back, uh, um, th think of this, retain, uh, use a stopper to retain the gas. Do, uh, do the glowing splint. Ab ye glowing splint wala you must have, you must be knowing. Uh, glowing splint be oxygen uh, necessary uh, release during photosynthesis. So glowing splint se prove that oxygen present. Positive control, repeat original experiment using manganese 4 oxide bubbles of oxygen. Conclusion, reaction happens because of catalyst. First negative control, repeat original experiment using boiled potato strips. Well, nothing happens. Conclusion, enzyme denature when they are at high temperature, already told you be beyond optimum temperature. You must be knowing that. Second negative control, repeat original experiment using water instead of hydrogen peroxide. Nothing happens because what is a control? Conclusion, hydrogen peroxide is a substrate. Third negative control, repeat in a you know, cold environment, effervescence, which uh, is showed by slow. Uh, enzyme don't work as well as control. So, what you have to sense, hoti hai, you know, acidity, ke usme bhi. chemical test already explained you. Add few drops of iodine, yeah, yeah, already explained. I'm not going to go into these already explained. Uske baad ye, factors of photosynthesis, yes. Taking a potty plant already explored. Variegated, kehte, you know, you can see here, variegated. Patches of both when you need to prove uh, when you need to prove uh, uh, chlorophyll is necessary. You take a variegated one. You can just see that, and then the boil, why we need to boil in chlorophyll become chlorophyll extract and all that. So I'm not wasting time. I already told you. Photosynthesis ke destarch a plant already told you putting in 48 hours. Why need to destarch a plant uh, just to make uh, and uh, make sure that new starch has been made? Uske baad sunlight you put it into. Agar aapne light uh, is important um, uh, hai, to you aluminium foil se cover karo and then you can you can show the result and you can apply with the starch that you can see the one which is covered with aluminium foil. The sunlight cannot penetrate. You will show the negative. Ho. Isi ye dekho, carbon dioxide necessary already told you. Uh, experimental may you have to keep carbon dioxide absent using the soda line. But in the other one, you don't need to, you know, so, uh, usme aap use karoge, so that it depends. Take two destarched pot plants, both plants with bell jars, label them as A, B. A may keep sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is needed to provide more carbon dioxide. Sodium bicarbonate ja break up karegi to produce more artificial excess high carbon dioxide. Inside B, sodium hydroxide, uh, it absorbs carbon dioxide. So you are making uh, B may carbon dioxide absent. Keep both the setups in the sunlight for at least six hours. Perform the starch test on both of the plants and leave the plant AP and after the starch test and keep the plant. So that's important. Uske baad factors, yeah, yeah, this is the one with oxygen. Bubble wala, you take aquatic plant, you know, oxygen is released. You have to give evidence oxygen released during photosynthesis. Ab isme experiment they can give you uh, to show the rate of photosynthesis. You can take an aquatic plant, you can put uh, aquatic plant rakha hai, or you can use different type of uh, uh, voltage. You either you uh, keep the volts constant or you can vary the distance of the lamp from the constant. So that it depends. Or kuch experiment mein, aapne dekha hoga, rate of photosynthesis to measure karna ke liye suppose at different temperatures. Aapko you put the shield in between. Aap shield rakho ya cool wo jar rakho. Shield or cool jar ka kya wo role hai? They ask, can ask you. It can absorb the excessive heat. Why excess, uh, excessive heat needs to be absorbed? Because it can damage the enzyme optimum temperature. Uh, uh, volts wale jo high volts mein, it can damage. So ye wala bhi si tana, ye wala jo oxygen wala ho gaya. So already uh, factors carbon dioxide necessary already explained. Okay, this is the one, yes. Yeah, dekho, this is the one sharp razor plate to cut leafy shoot. Yeah, this is photometer one. 
in that leafy shoot through a hole of the stopper provided with a potometer fill the is isko jo hai na we can even call it bubble potometer can you see here this is the water ye aapko ye cut end of the capillary jo tube hai na ye cut end hai isko we immerse in the water when we immerse in the water we are basically introducing water bubble air bubble wo jab air bubble introduce karenge so when there is a loss of uh, water uh, through transpiration the water need to be absorbed तो फिर वो फिर कीप मूविंग टूवर्ड द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो इन द लीफी शूट द होल फिल द पोटोमीटर विद वाटर एंड फिट द स्टॉपर होल्डिंग द लीफ शूट टू द एपरेटर्स ट्रैप एन एयर बबल इन द कैपिलरी ट्यूब बाय द बाय द फॉलोइंग प्रोसीजर डिप द एंड ऑफ द कैपिलरी ट्यूब इनटू बीकर ऑफ वाटर एज आई सेड ये कट एंड वाला क्लोज द टैप ऑफ यू नो दिस इज दिस इज रिजर्वायर दिस इज अ टैप यू कैन ओपन एंड क्लोज अकॉर्डिंगली टेक अवे द बीकर ऑफ वाटर एंड अलाउ द प्लांट टू ट्रांसपायर व्हाट इज ट्रांसपेरेशन एक्सेस ऑफ वाटर चेंज यू टू Water vapor is called transpiration. Transpiration, if you remember, it mostly uh, two stomata. Stomatal transpiration होती है. Mostly stomata से होती है. Little bit cuticle से भी हो सकती है. Lenti cell से भी हो सकती है. So it depends. Ah, उसके बाद then what he is saying? Remerge the capillary tube into the beaker of water again. So ये आपको ये सारा जो है he is telling you. Ah, uh, बता रहा है आपका कि estimate the transpiration by measuring the distance moved by the air bubble in unit time. ये जो आपको uh, scale है वो उससे आपको बता देगा unit time measuring. उसके बाद ये इस टाइप के कुछ आ सकते हैं इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग इंसुलेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट ये आपके पास फ्लास्क है रिप्रेजेंट हेयरलेस मैमल ये होमियोस्टेसिस इफ यू रिमेंबर यस रिमेंबर वन थिंग कोऑर्डिनेशन से भी आ सकता है आई के ऊपर भी आ सकता है एटीबी मैनी यू नो टू प्रूव द ब्लाइंड स्पॉट ब्लाइंड स्पॉट वो डॉट एंड क्रॉस वाला और यू you नो know, वो जो है ना फार नियर तो आपको कोई सी भी टॉपिक से दे कैन गिव यू ब्रेन का वो रिफ्लेक्स आग से आ सकता है रिफ्लेक्स आग सो जैसे यहाँ पे इंसुलेशन पे आया हुआ है एनी एनी टॉपिक से यू कैन गेट इन्वेस्टिगेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन अदर देन मैग्निफिकेशन वाले कौन से पॉल आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू फ्लास्क एयर रिप्रेजेंट हेयरलेस मैमल बी रिप्रेजेंट मैमल विद ड्राइव फर सी रिप्रेजेंट अ मैमल विद वेट फर इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ हॉट वाटर आर एडिड टू द फ्लास्क एंड टेम्परेचर चेंजेस यू नो दैट वॉम ब्लड इट आर कॉल्ड एंडोथर्म्स दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड होमिथर्मिक कोल्ड ब्लड इट आर एक्टोथर्म दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल कोल्ड ब्लड इट वो किलोथर्मिक भी कहते हैं सो इक्वल अमाउंट्स ऑफ हॉट वाटर एडिड टू द फ्लास्क एंड टेम्परेचर चेंज आफ्टर सेट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम मेजर यूजिंग मर्ज थर्मोमीटर्स उसके बाद देन व्हाट इज सेइंग लोअर टेंपरेचर जो है वो चेंज यू नो सो दैट इट डिपेंड्स जो लोअर टेंपरेचर है चेंज मींस बेस्ट इंसुलेटेड उसके बाद रेस्पिरेशन के ऊपर ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू इस टाइप के आपके ऊपर आ सकते हैं आपको डेमोस्ट्रेटिंग रेस्पिरेशन यूज ऑक्सीजन एंड प्रोड्यूस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एक्टिव यीस्ट यीस्ट इज यूनिसेलुलर फंगस So yeast can respire aerobically, anaerobically. You should know equations as well. Alcoholic fermentation. The second one is called lactic acid, which is in mammals. So active yeast culture plays in the test tube connected to a second test tube containing hydrogen carbonate indicator. Hydrogen carbonate. This is hydrogen. This is called bicarbonate indicator. We say it. Which changes purple to alkaline. You have suppose this paper. I am also going to underline. You need to underline the information. Now, what do I need to underline? I need to underline that the yeast is active. One thing. और कनेक्टेड टू सेकंड कंटेनिंग हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट इंडिकेटर है जो कलर चेंज कर रहा है पर्पल टू एल्कलाइन एंड येलो इन एसिडिक कंडीशन तो ये आपको इंफॉर्मेशन को अंडरलाइन करो इन योर क्वेश्चन पेपर एट दस अच्छा लेट मी वन टेल प्लीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सपोज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन बेस्ड ऑन इन्वेस्टिगेशन है पूरा उसने पैसेज दिया है देन ही गिव्स यू मेनी स्टेप्स अब मेनी वन से लेके नाइन स्टेप्स अंडरलाइन द स्टेप्स वॉट एवर गिवन इन द स्टेप्स What is information? Cooked है, uncooked है, kettle is ये वो उसको underline पहले से कर लो. When you complete the steps, then he will give you the end पे एक question आ जाएगा. What is independent variable? Whatever. So you can go back and you have already underlined information. So आप वापस step पे जाओगे तो बजाय इसके कि फिर से you have to read the whole all the step from one to nine. You should know कि first step में क्या हुआ था, second में, third में. When you underline what is given in the step one, two, three, four, five, and you go back to the steps and then you answer the question. Otherwise, फिर वो आपको दोबारा से पढ़ने में वेस्टेज ऑफ टाइम वन आवर आपका फोर्टी मार्क्स दोनों के तो इट्स नॉट अ वेरी लॉन्ग इट्स इट्स अ शॉर्ट टाइम लेकिन जिसको आता है और रिमेंबर प्लीज वन थिंग सम किड्स थिंक दैट इट्स वेरी इजी और वो कंप्लीट करके विदाउट लुकिंग रिवाइजिंग द पेपर दे लीव द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल दे वॉन्ट टू लीव द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल इवन दे पुट द पेपर अपसेट डाउन एंड दे वॉन्ट टू जस्ट टॉक दे वॉन्ट टू टू लुक देयर Um, or they don't want to review and revise. Don't finish all the time. First, take five to six minutes to read the whole paper. Question number one, investigation based. Hai. Question number two, magnification. Hai. Which one question you are more confident? Which question you are confident? So first, solve it. That's not an issue. But both you have to solve. Okay. 
सो सी डेट्स वॉट एव इन्फॉर्मेशन अंडरलाइन करो सारा कुछ और अच्छी तरह एज आई सेट मैं अभी आई एम ऑन इन्वेस्टिगेशन प्लीज वेन यू ड्रॉ ड्रॉइंग करो तो मेक श्योर लाइट सा आउटलाइन बनाओ लाइट विद पेंसिल इवन ड्रॉइंग ग्राफ लाइट सा बनाओ आई एम नॉट से इतना लाइट और नजर ही ना आए बट लाइट सा करो बिकॉज इफ यू नीड टू रेज इट आराम से रेज करके यू री ड्रॉ इट बट इफ यू ड्रॉ डॉक्स ऑफ इट टेंशन तो यू वॉन्ट टू रेज इट यू रेज इट बिकॉज इट्स इन पेंसिल बट वेन यू री ड्रॉ इट इट विल गिव यू वेरी बैड इम्पैक्ट वाई एम बैड इम्पैक्ट इवन ग्राफ समझ नहीं आएगा रीडिंग कहा ग्राफ की लाइन का पॉइंट किसको टच हो रहा है तो दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ कमिंग बैक टू इन्वेस्टिगेशन एज एम से तो आपको वो स्टेप्स वगैरह यू नीड टू फिर उसके बाद मोस्टली वो कहते हैं इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल डिपेंडेंट क्या फिर उसके बाद कहते हैं वो आपको गिव यू स्टेटिस्टिकल यू नो डाटा प्रोवाइड करता है और मोस्टली वो आपसे पूछते हैं पेपर में टेबुलेट यू रिजल्ट एज आई ऑलरेडी सेल्ड हाउ टू ड्रॉ टेबल विद सेल्स एंड कॉलम्स इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल पहला फिर सेकंड इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड सो ऑन आर यू गोइंग टू स्टैंड डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल कॉलम्स के नहीं कितने बनाने कॉलम उसके बाद टॉप हेडिंग्स पे सिर्फ यूनिट्स लिखते हैं बाकी पे नहीं सो दिस इज मोस्ट कॉमन वेरी सिंपल उसके बाद स्टार्ट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इंडिकेटर इज रेड हावर आफ्टर फिफ्टी मिनट इंडिकेटर बिकम येलो अलॉट ऑफ कार्बन प्रेजेंट तो ये तो सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू तो ये दीज आर इंडिकेटर्स के ऊपर एंड दिस इज वॉट दस ही हैज गिवन यू एपरेटस ये जो आपको उसने गिवन दिया है गुड प्रोसीजर्स में रिपीट रीडिंग टू स्पॉट एंड नॉर्मल ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू वॉट इज एनॉर्मल रिजल्ट टेबल गिवन होगा उसमें से वो बॉक्स एक एम होगा और वो कहेगा कि इसमें से या वो गिवन होगी नॉर्मल वैल्यू ही विल आस्क यू टू सर्कल अराउंड और कोई मीन जो है वो नहीं निकला होगा ही विल आस्क यू टू कैलकुलेट द मीन ऑफ द ब्लैंक बॉक्स दे लीव तो आप नॉर्मल रिजल्ट को आप सर्कल करेंगे तो एरर और टू कैलकुलेट एन एवरेज वो एरर दे तो उसको एवरेज में नहीं डालोगे फिर उसको ग्राफ में नहीं ड्रॉ करोगे अवॉर्ड मेकिंग पैरल एक्स एर यू मस्ट बी नोइंग पैरल एक्स एरर कैसे करते हैं वो आपको पता होगा आपकी अच्छा लेट मी रिपीट फॉर विद यू वट एवर बुक यू आर यूजिंग वो जोन्स की यूज कर रहे हो डी जी मैकिन की यूज वट सो वट एवर आई जी सी एस सी ओल एवर मैटर्स यूज कर रहे हो जो भी बुक आपने यूज किया अभी लेटेस्ट आपने ऑक्सफर्ड की यूज किया जिसमें अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूज टू थाउजेंड थ्री सिलेबस ऑफ ओल एवर आई जी को एक ही जगह में उन्होंने डाला हुआ ऑक्सफर्ड बुक इट वॉज वेरी गुड सो वट एवर बुक यू आर यूजिंग आई जी के लिए एक्सटेंडेड सिलेबस में और सप्लीमेंटेड लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन इज इक्वल दैट ऑल वट एवर इन ओ लेवल तो यू हैव टू सी दैट आपको वो उसमें पता होना चाहिए कि उसमें ये सारा कुछ उसके साथ वर्क बुक्स थी अब आई डोंट नो हाउ मच हाउ मेनी वर्क बुक्स यूज जैसे कि आंसर्स टू वर्क बुक्स आपके पास है तो वर्क बुक आपने कभी यूज किया वर्क बुक में सब कुछ दिया हुआ है हाउ टू ड्रॉ ग्राफ हाउ टू प्लान इन्वेस्टिगेशन हाउ टू टीचर गो अबाउट इट हाउ टू ड्रॉ डू कंडक्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द लैब एंड देन कन्वर्ट हाउ टू एटी बी सॉल्व सो ये बता रहा है आपको making parallax errors line of state line of sight should be perpendicular to the reading on the scale chemistry may be you must have done look carefully at any scale that is used so ye sara kuch jo aapne kiya hoga notice the unit in which the scale is calibrated always give the unit of any measurement notice maximum reading that can be obtained notice the smallest change in value that can be obtained aim to use quantity quantities that have mag magnitudes and that uh, towards the upper values of the scale so that it depends aapko ye sara kuch is very important uske baad next germination already told you germination mein to uh, to prove that three condition necessary how to conduct already we explain kar chuki hu b will germinate faster because it has access to water oxygen and warm temperature these are the three condition soil is not necessary uh, um, a does not have the access to water so absent aap water ki jagah wo mein as i said beads rakh do आप कॉटन रख दो वॉट्स एवर सी डज नॉट है एल्कलाइन पैराग्लॉड रख दो या आप उसको कवर कर दो ऑयल से वॉट एवर लेयर से डी हैज अ वेरी कोल्ड टेम्परेचर इवन दो ऑल अदर फैक्टर्स आर प्रेजेंट सो आप बॉइल करते हो या आप उसको उसमें डालते हो सो दैट इट डिपेंड्स सो दिस टाइप कैन ऑल्सो कम अच्छा ये आपका येस जियोट्रोपिज्म एज ए सेट जियोट्रोपिज्म freshly germinate seedlings inside a glass jar seed is held by a roll of moist blotting paper these type of investigation i always do with my kids for igcse books igcse books mein ye investigations di hui hain o levels ke obviously 2003 23 se pehle no uh, topic uh, uh, coordination in plants was given so no investigation based on that but when we do characteristic uh, properties to we say that um, how plants move towards sensitivity irritability i always give example to o levels as well के जियोट्रोपिज्म और फोटोट्रोपिज्म क्या होता है बट नाउ सिंस ये जो है न्यू बुक्स में विद न्यू कंटेंट जियोट्रोपिज्म इज गिवन सो सीड इज हेल्ड बाय रोल ऑफ क्वालिटी पे अगर सीडिंग्स आर अलाउड टू ग्रो फॉर फर्दर फाइव डेज द जार्स प्लेस राइट वे अप अपसाइड डाउन और साइड्स पे सो यू हैव ये दीज 
in each case the roots will tend to go downwards and the shoot tends to grow upwards shoots shoots go, um, uh, grow upward towards the sunlight to say kehte positive phototropic and they are negative geotropic so opposite to for geotropism investigating how plants respond to gravity aapke paas ye dekho ye hai uh, a a mein ye dekho this is gone ye diya hua hai this is young root uske baad ye jo hai ye ye jo hai testa hai ये यंग शूट है फिर बीन सीडलिंग्स हेल्ड बिटवीन द ब्लॉटिंग पेपर ये दिखाया हुआ है फिर उसके बाद ये बी में और दिस इज सी प्रोसीजर वन जो है व्हाट इज प्रोसीजर वन फ्रेशली जर्मिनेट जर्मिनेटेड ब्रॉड बीन सीडलिंग्स आर फिक्स्ड इन पोजीशन इनसाइड द ग्लास जार नंबर टू सीडलिंग्स आर अलाउड टू ग्रो फॉर अ फर्दर फाइव डे सिक्स डेज विद द जार्स प्लेस्ड एज शोन इन ए बी सी डी सो सो इट ऑल डिपेंड्स uh you know so you can uh, check those there are three groups of then oat shoots oat all already told you oat jo hai ye monocots hai iski calyptile sheaths you know can perform this experiment has its tip removed tip removed uh tips are covered and uh, and c are untreated uh, the, the calyptiles jo wo calyptile kehte hain outer sheath of the um monocot wo jo maize aur z maize wagaira hote hain and lens recorded they are put in light proof boxes ye dekh lo one gap is only allowed light to enter laterally laterally means side they are measured 2 to 3 days later new lens are recorded untreated calyptiles will grow the most as they would bend towards the light a mein aap dekh lo kya ho raha hai b mein kya ho raha hai aur c mein kya ho raha hai and you can see the uh, comparison with this i hope mainly i have uh, mostly covered with whatever mentioned in terms of investigations uh, genetic engineering pe bhi uh, genetically modified gen genetically modified organism topic jo hai biotechnology pe uh, pen penicillin production pe aa sakta hai you know the investigation can come uh, wo jo uh, you know uh, penicillin production antibiotic what is fermenter what are the parts of fermenter uh, how to go about it wo sara kuch aa sakta hai it can also come along with ecology ke upar bhi kuch aa sakta hai eutrophication what anything can come in. graph relevant atp type question coordination as i said eye pe aa sakta hai brain pe aa sakta hai reflex arc baaki this sora jo sab se important hai i already i have discussed theek hai so this is ab ab the thing is we have got now we have got yeah, this is this is a question this is a specimen paper jaldi se i am going through it and i know uh, ke ye aapne solve kiya hoga this is idc sc ka paper hai aur uh, this is a specimen paper so going through this jaldi se or just giving you example ke jaise ye dekho question one uh, this is on catalase ab catalase already so i'm going very fast ab agar suppose this is a paper in front of you aapne jaldi se underline karna hai catalase is an enzyme uh, you know that catalase is an enzyme and it is found in uh, different types of uh, you know it is found in different types of uh, 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 enzyme found in plant and animal cells already told you it catalyzes breakdown of hydrogen so oxygen pro produced uh, jo hai acha ab forming jo hai for, uh, banega whatever the height of the form jo hai determine the catalase activity to so, mujhe i don't need to go through this because i know that you all have solved this as as far as i know sabne solve kiya hoga uh, so i'm going fast student investigated catalase activity uh, step 1 may 2 potato you know uh, potato cylinders आइडेंटिकल इन शेप साइज फाइव सी एम क्यूब ऑफ थ्री परसेंट इसको अंडरलाइन करो कि थ्री परसेंट हाइड्रोजन पर ऑक्साइड टेस्ट ट्यूब लेबल कुक कुक जो है वो लेबल है बट थ्री परसेंट लेबल नहीं आप लेबल कर लो फिर थ्री परसेंट जो है वो अनकुक्ड है फिर पुट वन तो ये सारे स्टेप्स को लेबल करो उसके आप आफ्टर लेबलिंग आप आप नेक्स्ट पे आ जाते हैं ठीक है सो यू नीड टू सब लेबल इट उसके बाद ये आपके पास दिस इज दिस इज दिस इज दैन एपरेटस इसको मैं अगर मजीद थोड़ा सा दिस इज द फुल एपरेटस सो यू यू शुड सी द आप ये आराम से देखो कि आपको ये नजर आ रहा है कि यहाँ ये फॉर्मिंग जो है यहाँ से लेके यहाँ तक और ये यहाँ से कुक पोटैटो में आप इसका डिफरेंस देखो हाइट का और दिस इज अ रूलर गिवन हाइड्रोजन पर ऑक्साइड यह सोल्यूशन है सोल्यूशन ये टेस्ट ट्यूब है ये पोटैटो सिलेंडर है दिस इज अनकुक्ड लेफ्ट साइड पे और कुक जो है राइट साइड पे तो इफ यू जस्ट फोकस एंड रीड वेरी केयरफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइडेड विदेटस यूजिंग देन यू कैन आंसर द क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन नो वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन वेरी सिंपल प्रिपेयर this is what i said prepare aapko sabse pehle jo hai you have to prepare the result aap uh, what what is saying prepare a table to record your result measure the height of the form in each of the test tube in figure record the measurement in your table to so, table banana aapko maine bata diya how to draw the table with the cells and columns calculate the difference in the height wo bhi aapne cooked and cooked mein karna hai uh, uh, potato after 3 minutes 
Uh, state one conclusion of these results identify the independent variable investigation. Uh, why it is important that the two potato cylinders were identical in shape and size. Uh, state other two variables that were kept constant investigation. One possible source of error in the method in investigation. This is a question. Uh, catalase activity same in all species of plant. Yeah, this question was this question actually came in October. Yeah, I actually open This is the question paper. This is the question paper of winter. Yeah, winter October November ka 18 ka paper hai, 63 variant. This is this question came and now repeated, now repeated in this. As uh, you know, yeah, ab aapke, uh, ye jo hai, abhi aapke is paper mein, uh, specimen paper may repeat hua hai. I hope you got my point. Okay, catalyst activity is the same in all species of plants. Plan and investigation to test this is statement. I have given you the sequence of events, how the prediction, then the come to the, you know, how it comes to the variable, which will be dependent in the end, uh, dependent control, then the method, and uh, then you tabulate result observation, for how to be safety measure, how to make your result reliable, and so on, risk assessment, and all. So, this headings ko dekhi, you have to uh, plan this investigation. Potatoes contain starch, we starch, wo simple reducing sugar test. Hai. Jaldi se, I will come back to this. Uske baad ye aapko B de raha, wood, wood louse. Wood louse, ka, ye same question came in the very old paper. I always start when magnification, I give this diagram. Abhi main aapko dikhati, wood louse, uh, sorry, wood louse ka. This is given respirometer hai, aapke saamne start or 30 minutes ke baad, whatsoever. Uh, yeah, you need to just, I know that you must have solved this. I don't calculate the rate of movement or drop of colored liquid in mm per minute. Uh, show you working to steps needed. Uske baad ye rate of movement hai, ye sab given hai. Uh, plot, plot. Ab isme dekho, you need to, uh, you know, you have to mention, ab ye dekho, isko underline karna hai bar chart. Usne aapko bola hai, you have to draw bar chart. So sometimes they don't tell you what type of graph to be suited. So bar chart grid to show the mean rate of movement of drop of colored liquid in the capillary for the animal. So exact, you have to see how to draw bar chart. Uh, aapko readings leni hai. Uh, you know, you need need to take the x-axis, uh, pura full information, y-axis, how to draw the bar, bars, already explained, letter animal species has the highest rate of respiration, suitable control of investigation, described, described in 2B, uh, state decided whatever, calculate the ratio. And now, this is the diagram, which was given in very old paper. And I've seen this drawing in the so, um, on the so, social media, Facebook, baby, and different groups. Uh, is made, uh, if you draw this graph, this diagram, to make sure it should be a little larger than the, uh, you know, the one, ye jo wood lau, lau's given. Uske baad, the important thing is that you have to see the projections, ye, uh, ye jo, uh, upper or lower, dono sides pe projections. Hai. You have to draw properly projection, or you have to see how many segments are there of the projection. One, this, two, this, three, or iske bhi segments. Ye pretty important thing. hai. Iske segments kitne hai? Or uske baad, ye, ye jo distinct segments hai, how many Segments are given. So, aapko isko ye one, two, three joined and you must remember. Aapko yaad hoga thorax se attached abdomen whatever. So, aapko ye dekhna hai or minimum eight hai ye pe distinct. So, you have to see that and then you draw. Isko little larger. So, no problem with this. Aap plan drawing iski draw karenge. No shading. No with this. But you have to see that ki aapne isko draw kaise karna hai. So, uh, draw a large diagram of wood louse. Aapne draw karna hai. Uske baad aapne usko measure the length of the PQ. Uh, length of PQ millimeter, aapko usne, uh, unit already given. Blank, you have to write, calculate the actual width. Aapko de diya. Formula, he has given you. So, aapne insert the uh, so, aapne working steps. So, this is, uh, this, is, uh, this is so easy. As I said, ke isme koi aisi cheez wo nahi thi. but this is what, agar main isi ki, uh, you know, jaldi se just go through the, uh, you know, aap mark scheme pe jayin. So, you can just see here. Basically, sorry, uh, this is, uh, doesn't matter. Thoda main isko wo kar deti so that, uh, or you know, alter, it's fine. Uh, aapke paas hai, you are uncooked. Iska to, I don't think so. You have any issue with this. So, mark scheme is given independent variable, at least two different species of plant variables that are kept constant, maximum two, same size, shape. Already told you, same volume of hydrogen peroxide. Ye to abhi are already explained you these all investigation. I have discussed. You know, the more important is not discussing right now these specimen papers with mark scheme. You have done those, I know that. But whatever I've discussed for your unseen paper to be solved, that's very important. There is no rote learning that you re reproduce uh, anything. If you have the knowledge, which I have explained right now, uh, how to go about your uh, magnification drawing question, how to go, what are the rules and all that, how to go about your investigation experiment-based question, 
तो आपको पता होना चाहिए व्हाट इज इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल व्हाट इज डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल व्हाट आर कंट्रोल वेरिएबल हाउ टू स्टैंडर्डाइज देम हाउ टू मेक प्लान इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ सिक्स मार्क्स कीपिंग इन माइंड ऑल द हेडिंग्स हाउ टू टेक द सेफ्टी मेजरमेंट रिस्क वो असेसमेंट हैजर्ड्स और उसके बाद हाउ टू टेबुलेट योर रिजल्ट्स ऑल दैट हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द एरर्स हाउ टू इंप्रूव द ऑपरेटर्स टू यू नो मैक्सिम मिनिमाइज द एरर्स तो ये हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द अननोन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर पोटेंशियल फ्रॉम द हाउ टू रीड द ग्राफ how to um, uh, calculate with from expression or formula the percentage change or increase or decrease or whatsoever to ye cheez zyada important hai dependent variable ye height hai ye wo to i don't think so isme i need to you know main aapko ye pura iske sath uh, discuss this to instead of discussing the mass scheme of this uh, there is actually you know uh, paper jo important jo hai this is the paper for paper 4 ka jaldi se because this is for o levels before ye time you know already it's going to be two hours but uh, ye dekh lo This is for uh, uh, ये देखो इसमें क्या है ग्लूकोज अब इसमें आप देखो कि इन्वेस्टिगेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन तो ही इज वॉट इज ही सेंग आप इसको अंडरलाइन करो ग्लूकोज इज रिड्यूसिंग शुगर बैनेट एक्सक्लूशन यूज टू दिस 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 डिस्क्राइब हाउ वुड यू अब वॉट इज द कमांड वर्ड हेयर जैसे पेपर टू में था डिस्क्राइब हाउ वुड यू यूज बैनेट एक्सक्लूशन फॉर रेड्यूसिंग शुगर इन सम फ्रूट जूस अच्छा फ्रूट जूसेज में Uh, you must have seen that pectinase is very important. Fruit juices may pectinase. आप apple ju apple juices से uh, how to extract तो आप pectinase and वो use करते हैं वो जैसे वो washing powders में वो olives में भी add हो गया these you know so it's already there in IGCSE so you know that pectinase what is the enzyme to do with that or panadic solution include a suitable safety precaution in in your answer you know you are boiling boil heat to boil to tilt rakho nahi boil ho raha hai so ye to sari common you must aapne isko usse mark scheme se bhi dekha hoga some students were given acha 1% aapko solution uh, distilled water diluted to uh, dilute kiya with a different concentration acha dilutions banate hain aap stock solution se you know simple dilutions you can make or serial dilutions aap stock solution se aap dilutions banate hain to so, aapko wo he is not going to ask you wo a levels mein puchte how to make simple or serial dilutions student tested ya aapke paas table hai that, that this is important the table ek usne uh, glucose uh, solution concentration diya percentage mein aur result of benedict test diya hua so there are two tables given with the values given aur benedict result of benedict test jo hai wo this is qualitative the color change is given और साथ उसने न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यूज दी हुई है की दैट इज क्वांटिटेटिव तो अब स्टूडेंट्स जो हैं वो आल्सो डिसाइडेड टू टेस्ट दैल्यूशन वाटर विद बैनेटिक सॉल्यूशन रिजल्ट क्या आएगा एक्सप्लेन व्हाई द स्टूडेंट टेस्ट दैट डिस्टिल वाटर अभी बताया था डिस्टिल वाटर से क्यों पहले टेस्ट करना नेगेटिव आ रहा है तो स्टूडेंट कंपेयर द कलर ऑफ द सोल्यूशन आफ्टर द सेम लेंथ ऑफ टाइम स्टेट थ्री other variables that the student can have control to it and sir very but i have already discussed students uh, uh, were then provided with a glucose solution x unknown concentration repeated with benedict exactly the same way they decided the result what yellow yellowish orange color so yellowish mein thoda dilute hoke as i said yellowish green aa sakta hai to wo fir orange red concentration pe depend kar rahe फिर उसके बाद यूजिंग द रिजल्ट टेबल से आपने देखना है कंक्लूड अबाउट द परसेंटेज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्लूकोज इन सॉल्यूशन एक्स एक्सप्लेन हाउ डिड कंक्लूजन कैसे हाउ डिड यू रीच योर कंक्लूजन आपने देखना है उसमें से एक्सप्लेनेशन ये है कि वो जो कलर चेंज है वो आपको बता रहा है कितना कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड था यू नो द कलर चेंज से तो उसके बाद डिस्क्राइब फाउंड इन दिफ्रे एक्स सोल्यूशन टेस्टिंग विद बैनेटेड और डिफिकल्टी इम्प्रूवमेंट ग्लूकोज सोल्यूशन फिर उसके बाद ये सारा हाउ द स्टूडेंट ये तो यू मस्ट हैव डन दिस 16 मार्क्स वाला उसके बाद जल्दी से आई एम गोइंग थ्रू कैरेट्स का आ गया फूड कंटेनिंग विटामिन सी ये आपके दिया हुआ है कैरेट्स दिए हुए हैं विटामिन सी मिलीग्राम 100 यूनिट्स दिया है ये आपके पास है और यहाँ पे बिकॉज इट कैन सी डिस्क्रीट डाटा है नंबर कैरेट्स का तो बार चार्ट आपको ड्रॉ करना है और बार चार्ट्स के रूल्स यू हैव नो कि आप यहाँ पे बार चार्ट करोगे विद इक्वल वेट्स विद गैप इन इन बिटवीन डोंट शेड द बार चार्ट आप उनको ठीक तरह बनाओ अगर शेड करोगे तो स्लॉन्टिंग लाइन किसी की लंबी यू नो सो इट डिपेंड्स बट ये फिर उसके बाद आप मिडल मिडल में लिखोगे वो फ्रूट हो यहाँ पे वाई एक्सिस पे यू विल पुट दैट so already stored uh, told you about it which boiled carrots contain the most vitamin c state to conclusion drawn uske baad calculate to ye to ye jo keh rahe na you want to investigate the effect of two cooking methods on the vitamin c content of the cook remember one thing vitamin c uh, yes very important information of the theory vitamin c is water soluble water soluble मोर यू कुक यू नो जो भी उसमें जो है डिस्ट्रॉय विटामिन सी मोर यू कुक तो वो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कम हो जाएगी और जो जो वॉटर सोलबल विटामिन होते हैं वो इतनी वो नहीं डिस्ट्रॉय होते सो दैट्स वॉट जितनी येस हायर द टेम्परेचर मोर इजली विटामिन सी विल बी डिस्ट्रॉय दिस इज वॉट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज 
पहले ही बता दिया आपको मैंने देर इज अम्पल टेस्ट दैट कैन बी यूज टू मेक दिन सी वो डीसीपीआईपी का रेफर टू दिन टेस्ट योर आंसर तो ये अभी तो मैंने आपको बताया वो डीसीपीआईपी वाला तो आप ये इसको कर सकते हो उसके बाद ये देखो ये तो ये आपको मैंने अभी देखा सोशल मीडिया पे भी ये ये आपके सामने है स्टार्च पोटैटो प्लांट ये देखो स्टार्च ग्रेन आर गिवन और स्टार्च ग्रेन आर अब ये इसको देख के ऐसे लगता है कि ये ये यीस्ट है यीस्ट यीस्ट के भी इसी तरह है यीस्ट इज ऑल्सो लाइक डायग्राम कैन बी ऑफ दिस यूनिसेलुलर बट ये इसने दिया हुआ आइडेंटिफाई स्ट्रक्चर डी तो आप ये देखो वॉट इज आइडेंटिफाई स्ट्रक्चर डी आपको उसको देखो ड्रॉ द स्टार्च ग्रेन लेबल ई एफ एन जी एपेर थ्री पॉइंट शुड भी सिक्सटी एम एम लॉन्ग वो अंडरलाइन करो कि सिक्सटी एम एम वो कह रहा है लॉन्ग होना चाहिए On your drawing, uh, draw a line to indicate maximum length of F. Measure the length recorded. Actual length given. Yes, sir. Magnu, describe how to prepare a slide of potato. Yeah, see. This is how to prepare a slide of a potato tissue. Your first topic up or IGCSE or levels. How to make a prepare a slide of animal and plant. Very important. Those steps you have to take. How to take a sample? You have cut it. Then take a sample. 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 Then take Uh, you know, so it depends. So, yeah, uh, under a microscope, what are the uh, steps to be focused for microscope? So, I teach that cell topic. I taught IGCSE O level uh, with these. Uh, yeah, with this topic, this is very important. Many, मतलब इसके साथ teach किया है कि आपको ये सारा चीज आना चाहिए. I oh, I hope you got it. कि this is very important with this. और इसकी फिर ये जो अगर आप देखो तो जल्दी से ये आप इसको जो बाकी तो खैर इतना ज़्यादा वो नहीं है. But I'm just you know थोड़ा सा you know going through. कि अगर आप ये देखो इसका गोइंग थ्रू दिस यू मस्ट हैव गॉन थ्रू इट आई नो दैट सब ने इसको किया हुआ है आपका जो क्वेश्चन uh, uh, ये जो फर्स्ट था बेनेडिक्ट सॉल्यूशन फ्रूट जूस आपने उसको फ्रूट जूस उसके बाद हीट और यू नो वॉम और वो आपने किया एंड देन वाटर बाथ यूज यू नो गॉगल्स यू यूज आई प्रोटेक्शन के लिए आपने और अन uh, uh, वो जो है अनरिलेटेड सेफ्टी प्रिकॉशंस ब्लू कलर क्या है कंट्रोल ये सारा कुछ तो इसमें तो कोई आई डोंट थिंक सो आई नीड टू यू नो गो थ्रू इट बिकॉज यू मस्ट हैव थ्रू वैसे भी आपको बेसिक्स आई टोल्ड सॉलिड ड्राइड मैस मेजर फिल्टर आपने वो लिया एक्स इज फुली लेबल्ड वो जो बार चार्ट बनाना था विटामिन सी एटलीस्ट हाफ द ग्रेड टू बी कवर्ड फोर डेटा वैल्यूज प्लॉटेड एक्यूरेटली ऑल बाज रूल्ड और इक्वल वेट होने चाहिए रूलर यूज करो बाज नॉट टचिंग यू नो दैट टच करेंगे तो इंस्टोग्राम में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा बीच में गैप होना चाहिए इक्वल और फ्रेश बॉइल्ड वॉटर वेयर बॉइलिंग तो ये कैरेट्स ऑफ सेम एज टाइप लिवन ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू सेम मैस वॉल्यूम ऑलरेडी मैंशन यू अनसीन में मैंने ये सारा बता दिया था आपको और विटामिन सी को डी सी पी आई पी से चेक करते हैं ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू तो आई डोंट थिंक सो कि इसमें मैंने जो आपको चीजें बता दी हैं सेल वॉल लेबल करना था वो सेल वॉल थी या द वन क्लियर कंटिन्यूस आउटर ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू Line for grain F, no shading. Uh, grain F at least 60 mm long. Grains touching. अगर वो टच करना है तो आपने देखना है वो टच कर रहा है करेक्ट रिलेटिव प्रोपोर्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर स्पेसिमेंट ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल ड्राइंग मेजरमेंट प्लस माइनस वन एम हो सकता है कैंडिडेट मेजरमेंट फ्रॉम ड्राइंग जो है वो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री है डिपेंड्स आप ड्रॉ करोगे नियरेस्ट टू द होल नंबर और आपको ये देखना है कि स्क्रैपिंग फ्रॉम कट सरफेस इज थिन सोल्यूशन टेकन हाँ थिन सोल्यूशन कट थिन जितना अनियन है जो भी है कट सोल्यूशन है ड्रॉप ऑफ आयोडीन पोटेशियम आयोडाइड होता है सोल्यूशन आयोडाइन पोटेशियम आयोडाइड ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू स्टेन है डाई है मेथिली ब्लू यूज करते हैं एनिमल uh, उसके लिए फॉर मेथिली ब्लू वी यूज फॉर एनिमल सेल कवर स्लिप होती है यू पुट ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू प्रिवेंट टू रिमूव रिमूव एयर बबल टू टिल टेट एट एन एंगल और एक्सेस जो है स्टेन को आप रिमूव करते हैं वॉश अवे आप उसको फिल्टर पेपर से कर सकते हैं सो यू नो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ टू यू नो गो अबाउट इट और आई हैव एज फार एज यू नो आई हैव कवर्ड विद ऑल नाउ आई एम जस्ट रिपीटिंग बिकॉज आई हैव कव सिंस एंडिंग अप विद मीटिंग सो प्लीज आई मस्ट टेल यू वन थिंग वेन यू गो सब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू ओपन योर पेपर चेक योर सिलेबस कोड Are you taking your IGCSE paper six zero six one zero paper six, uh, or are you taking paper four uh, five five zero nine zero O levels? After checking, read the instructions you uh, for which you can use pencil, for which you can use pen. Or after that, read question number one mostly now coming on investigation based question. 
if you are confident about investigation based question first so please read all the whole question first start and uh, read the whole question underline whatever information given spend time aram se because once you read it carefully then you can aram se uh, attempt the question don't leave anything blank try to just enter already told in paper 2 session also okay? don't leave un unclassified unmarked mark may don't leave anything blank uh, must attempt each and every part of the question uske baad then start with the question bring it to your mind the information abhi i have given you uh, there are basics about the investigation aap pure steps padh le see whatever prediction what type of uh, independent dependent variable he is talking about uske baad uh, uh, what type of information statistic, statistical table he has given you fir uh, if he has asking you to tabulate the result to table karo uske baad how to make a table so many times i have told you uske baad then uh, uh, what he is asking for I, whatever error aa raha hai how to calculate unknown variable uh, pick up karo control variables ko karo how to control the variable what are the safety measure what is an error how to improve an error so fir uske baad based on the statistical the draw a graph what type of graph he is asking you draw graph fully x axis by labeled hai to kaun sa graph banana underline karo proper tarike se don't lose any mark on graphs agar line graph hai to cross or dot or circle around rule line use karo bar ko bhi ruler se draw karo don't use your free hand Uh, you know aur uske baad then come to the second question confidently see the second question um, bring it to your mind like pehle dekho ko what type of biological specimen he has given you kitni information he is asking for kya cheez usne draw karne ko hai full white blood cell polymorph he is asking you to draw full seed hai ya full flower hai full potato tuber hai full whatever or he is asking you to draw the part of the uh, stem uh, quarter one half root or leaf whatever or he is asking you to draw plan drawing aapne banani hai uh, continuous line no shading uh, no uh, you know uh, like for example individual cells not uh, needs to be shown uh, any unknown specimen agar wo de raha aapko he is not going to ask you to label it but if known specimen hai he will ask you to label it proper proportions take and uh, go ahead with the proper headings and go take the measurement in millimeter uh, millimeter See, is he asking you to convert it to micrometer, multiplying with thousand, or just asking you to take in millimeter? So both that once you are confident about it, I don't think so. And draw, don't draw beautiful artistic drawing, please. No artistic beautiful drawing. Just draw a simple outline lightly first. Make sure you not don't need to erase it. Make sure. उसके बाद then if you need to erase it, तो उसके बाद fine. If you want it. तो आप उसको आराम से बट नॉट वेरी लाइट बट आउटलाइन शुड बी कंटिन्यूस और उसके बाद देन यू कीप ड्रॉइंग व्हाट एवर द पार्ट नीड टू बी ड्रॉन सो दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई डोंट थिंक सो केस में वी नीड टू हैव एनीथिंग एल्स रिगार्डिंग दिस बिकॉज आई हैव मोस्टली कवर्ड एवरीथिंग सो नाउ आस्किंग सर सर कैन यू जस्ट लेट मी नो दैट आई एम एंडिंग अप नाउ आई होप दैट Uh, i will um, get the recording uh, recording from sir uh, and i will um, you know will share obviously the recording or um, now the recording is more important obviously uh, recording why recording is more important so that you can now uh, easily you can use it uh, this recording i hope uh, because it will really help you so it depends um, uh, you know रिकॉर्डिंग में के वॉट आर वॉट एनी यू नो अब अब जो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू गो अबाउट इट इज बेसिकली यू हैव टू सी के वॉट इंफॉर्मेशन नीड्स टू बी नाउ वॉट नीड टू बी रिवाइज बिकॉज नाउ द टाइम हाउ मच टाइम इज गिवन डोंट प्लीज देर शुड बी नो लैक ऑफ स्लीप नाउ आप आराम से इफ आई शेयर रिकॉर्डिंग आई विल शेयर विद यू रिकॉर्डिंग नो प्रॉब्लम आप रिकॉर्डिंग भी सुन सकते हैं बिफोर मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग बिफोर यू गो फॉर यूर एग्जाम एंड अदरवाइज पिक अप योर एनी टॉपिक जो कि अभी आई हैव शेयर विद यू ईच एंड एवरी टॉपिक स्टिल एनी इंफॉर्मेशन यू आर स्टिल लैकिंग और यू आर नॉट गुड एट और यू आर यू हैव नॉट रिवाइज एट स्पेशली इन टर्म्स ऑफ ड्रॉइंग्स और लेबलिंग्स यू आर मिसिंग विद यू नॉट श्योर अबाउट दोज other than rules or you are not sure about investigation based how to go about with planning an investigation typically the reagents and what how to go about it please revise that instead of ye uh, so that you should be able to understand it now the thing is uh, uh, it depends if uh, any question any, any any question need to be 
uh, ask uh, i can uh, you know uh, you are still um, i am still live uh, so basically waiting for sir Uh, sir, I finished with the uh, basically finished with. Uh, I sir, I have finished with. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Jab Tak Sir is actually you know I have messaged him that I have finished with the whole because it's more than two hours now, and uh, so I would like you to still. Uh, uh, I can just say good luck to you. And uh, I would just like to say that please revise according to the type of questions, two type of questions coming in the exams. And uh, just see when you go exam may, uh, what type of paper you are going to get and what type of paper you are you have registered for so that you should be uh, you know confident about it. Or uh, uske baad then uh, read the question very carefully spend time on the you know spend time on the question uh, uh, you know uh, so that you should do know uh, i hope so it it it's actually so it depends uh, uh, you can revise it for uh, because i am not getting the live uh, uh, i have uh, so, you know uh, question uh, question answer session right now but what I can do is, same time, I'm just going through, go through that. Uh, uh, okay. If you are still there in the live session, you can just open your ATP uh, specimens or your ATP notes and all that, and you can go through those if you want, or uh, otherwise you can leave. Otherwise you can leave it, uh, you know, it depends basically because uh, uh, you can revise, no problem. Uh, 